Right, okay, everyone, right, welcome back to another live watch along on the channel. Swannies and the Dons, oh, they're always classic matchups, I tell you what. No matter how shite a team is going, both sides like to turn up and play a nice, scrappy game of football. Last five of the last six games have been decided by under 10 points or something. The last, I think it's the last seven out of eight, I think it's been under 10 points. So, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm expecting really this one to be a bit of a scrap. Um, Essendon, good win last week. They were accurate, they were efficient. Um, so I think they're coming in this game with a bit of confidence. Given that since we're in the box seat and the pressure's on us to perform, you know, it's almost like a free hit for them. So, getting to see how they go tonight. Um, but yeah, could really see this one go either way. And, you know, there's plenty of casualties for Essendon too. No Perkins, no Ridley. Um, now no Jake Kelly, so he's out. Laverde comes in. 
No Parish, of course, as well. So, yeah, they're sort of getting stitched up a wee bit with the personnel issues. Um, but I think our first two weeks have been f almost flawless, really. So, hopefully we can continue the form heading into tonight. And the boys coming out of the banner. Hopefully everybody's going well. Um, g'day, everybody in chat. L, Ion, Cameron, Essendon, Finn, Lockie. Hopefully, everybody, hopefully, hopefully everybody's going well. Yeah, and you had to see that with Stephen Mars watching a bit of that game earlier on. He, I think he's broken his ribs. It was really, um, yeah, nasty collision. So all the best to him. Been a bit of car carnage early on this season, has to be said. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully everybody's uh, Saturday's going well so far. Hopefully we're due for a good night of football tonight. So yeah, Melbourne weighing too good for Hawthorne. 55, Hawthorne again, very just hacky and inaccurate. Midfield, we're getting torn to shreds. Melbourne look pretty primed. Um, yes, I know I have them out of the finals, but you know, start of the season, you still got to treat them like a top team, and now they're two and one. Ford line was great today. Bailey Fritch, five goals, one. Cosy Pickett with three, Chandler with two. Have a lot of contributors into that forward line. Um, of course, Melbourne. Yeah, hopefully everybody is going well. Fritch the goat, yeah, fantastic today. Yeah, no, it is a bit of a bit of an out uh, with uh, Robbie Fox out. Um, I think his pressure's been very good, but you know, in comes Sam Wicks, so it's a good replacement. Cox the back line, Martin Wing. Yeah, Cox has been thrown around a bit. He was a little bit last week. So, yeah, we'll probably see with that. Uh, what he does do. I remember, I think it was like his third game back in 2021. He had a really good game against us. So, so there we go. It's back at the SCG. Um, but last time these two sides were at this venue, I think it was... The, yeah, it's when, we're, it's when we pumped them by like 60, 70 points. But this is when they were pretty shy. Um, you know, and Ben Rutten was sort of under the pump a wee bit. Yeah, hopefully everybody, um, oh, hopefully you're going well. Sorry, random guy. Welcome to straight. Dockers came back. Yeah, no, how about that, eh? They've come back from, uh, for, from over four goals in both games and have had brilliant second halves. I think that's something we're going to see at North this year, though. I think they'll play well for at patches, but it's a young and inexperienced team, so it looks like they just got outdone, out fatigued. Oh, well, they got fatigued themselves. Um, Freo ran over the top. Yeah, Dockers midfield looking good. Controlled the game really well. I mean, Sarong was fantastic once again. I mean, Luke Jackson, though. Bloody hell, what a player. I think he was the best on ground from that game. Uh, I don't know, really, El. Um, I just, I'm just keen to see how we go. I'm not, I wouldn't say really nervous, but, you know, I'm, I'm under anticipation that I think Eston will come out to play. And they're going to give it a real red-hot crack tonight. Because, you know, we're not going to be playing... You know, our first two rounds not going to be playing like that all year. We're, we're eventually going to be pulling out a shit performance. Um, well, that's just how I look at it, to be honest. But, you know, I want to be want to be optimistic. I think if we can really get our ball movement going, um, you know, I think we can outdo Essendon in the transition. I mean, that's where we've been really good um, against Melbourne and especially uh, Collingwood last week. Um... Dockers 2013, 2022 is back, I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, we'll see the next few weeks. I mean, they've got Adelaide at home. They can have a good start to the season. I mean, I, I was optimistic on this on Fremantle this year. I think I had them, what, 12th or 13th, though? Um, but they're one that, that are definitely rises for me. So, they, hey, they can go 3-0. Um, it's hard to answer that question now, Kai, to be honest, because, you know... When Adams comes in, we might have someone that's injured. We might have someone that's out of form. I think probably looking at the moment, it's hard to really look at that. Look at that. If it had to take a pick, probably like a James Jordan or something. Because, um, you know, we'll probably have those sort of types. Like Lloyd would be able to swing back to defence then and Campbell and McInerney can get a bit more time on the wing. So I'd probably say him. But it's hard. I mean, it's hard. You know, Jordan's been chipping away nicely. He's been pretty serviceable for us. So we'll see. You never know, we could have five players go down injured tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's time for a good game of footy. So quick look at the lineups. Um, yeah, 
Just carnage for Eston. Reed out. Redmond suspended. Guelphie injured. Jones out. Kelly out. So Laverde comes in for Kelly. Hine comes in pretty much for Redmond. Draper comes in. He's back. First game in quite some time. Alan Davy Jr. is in. He's going to be the sub. And then, yeah, Ben Hobbs comes in for his first game this year. Um, and then I think uh, Sardis was a sub last week, so he's upgraded. And then, yeah, no changes except Warner in. Fox out. Warner will be the sub. And Wixie Boy will be on the field, which I think he deservedly should be. For sure. Imagine North win over the Blues. Yeah, they're going to be hard to trust, though, with tipping, though, still. Just the four-quarter efforts um, could fade out like we saw today. Um, I was had to vote Tuzzy Day. Very important. Yeah, no, hopefully it gets up, mate. I mean, fair enough. People have their opinions, but, you know, I'd be cool for the sport. There's about eight guys that have done their role, but if one goes on tear, it could be... Um, goes on tear, it could force others to do drop, like park rams, etc. Yeah, no, for sure, mate. Still a bit of depth to come in, for sure. Um, we're in three minutes till first bounce. Um, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, really good opportunity to go with 3-0 um, tonight, though. It, it must be said. Um, and then Richmond at the G next week, which... Tough fixture. I mean, Tigers at the G, you never know. They can turn up. We'll see how they go tomorrow. I mean, if they if they can knock off Port, it's going to be a tricky game. And then, yeah, followed by West Coast. I mean, yeah, next five, as you can see in the graphics. So, Richmond, the G, Eagles in Adelaide. Then we've got the buy. Then Gold Coast home, tricky game. And then Hawthorne at the G. So, yeah, there's, there's a few opponents sprinkling in there that could give us a bit of trouble. Um, every game's tough. And then Essendon's next five. They've got the Saints, I think, at Marvel. I've got Port Adelaide. I'm not too sure if that's in Adelaide. Um, Bulldogs, Crows, and then... Yeah, the Pies, so the Dons also have a pretty tricky fixture. Saints up and about. Port Adelaide will be tough. Bulldogs, always tricky. You know, probably by then Adelaide will bounce back with a bit of form. And then, yeah, Collingwood always still tricky, though. So, we'll see. Um, you know, there's some teams in danger of really going, starting poor. I mean, we all know Collingwood, but Adelaide dropping to 0-2, and they've got some tough fixtures. If Essendon drop this, they go 0-2. No like, yeah. Looks like um, there'll be much more different changes to the ladder each year, like there always is. Um, so, yeah. Bulldogs win tomorrow by eight. Yeah, I'm expecting the Bulldogs to um to play much better footy. Usually good in, in Ballarat. What have I got on the Suns, though? Um, I think that can turn up. Feeling it will be a close game, though. It's usually pretty windy um, in Ballarat, too. On three is a 10% chance of making finals. So yeah. That is, I've seen that uh, stat float around a bit. Um, but it's not like Collingwood have been unlucky, maybe not to pick up a win. They've been, they've been so far off it. I mean, they should have lost to GWS by over 40 points or 50 points. Same against the Swans. And they kicked up a few goals late too. And really, the Saints should have won that by over 30. So they've completely gotten outplayed in all three games. So um, they've got yeah, Brisbane next week. Where, you know, it lines a different gravy at home. I know they lost to Carlton, but, you know, just look at their first half. They obliterated them, so I expect them to bounce back. Like, yeah. Some crazy stuff going on. Get out of Lucinda, hopefully going well. Yeah, you expect that would iron, mate. I think I kicked last three goals out of four and uh, last five or three. Oh, there you go. Salvaging the percentage a wee bit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Zach Merritt and um, the coin toss. Who wins it? Um, well, let's see how we've got in fantasy and super coach. So for super coach tonight, got Grundy, Heaney, Jordan, and Nick Martin. Kind of give Martin another week. And then fantasy, I've just got Jordan and Heaney and Grundy. And Roberts on field. I could have fielded Sharp. He got 73, but uh, decided to go Roberts instead. So hopefully that doesn't burn me in the end too much. But yeah. Hoping, obviously, we get up, but expecting the Dons to turn up. There's just always these close games. I mean, let's be honest. Last year, we should have beaten Nesson in that game by probably 30 points. I think I thought we were a five-goal better side. Um, but that was a classic 2023 performance last year where we just fall asleep and almost choke. Had plenty of those games last year. Okay, well, here we go. Didn't even see who won the toss. Who was it? 
walk again. Car will kick to the out here, squad in. You beauty. Um, I've got all my tips right so far, so you should be fine, Roll. Says, you know, oh, hopefully, mate. Um, I'm what two out of four at the moment. I mean, I've gotten pretty much the easy tips right with Fremantle or North, but could be a bit of a 50-50 one here. Could go either way. Still annoyed though. Like I talked up so much of the Saints and Geelong in my tipping video, and I didn't tip them. Like I've got to start. I you know, tip in those sort of games. Correct. Uh, but oh well, they're wrong. They're wrong. Tipping, that's tipping for it at the end of the day. You can talk as much drivel or as much accuracy about something as you want, but at the end of the day, you just got to pick the right team. And you can do tips blindfold and still win the competition. Very low chance of happening, but you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, we've really got to try and catch Essendon through our ball movement. It's been definitely one of our positives this year early on. Our defence has been good, so let's go. But probably our biggest weakness, though, from what I've witnessed, is definitely our inability to win enough centre bounces. Essendon were very good at that last week, so we'll see. So Setterfield, Perkins and Merritt in the centre bounce. As for the Swans, it's Papley, Chad and Heaney. We're underway. Saturday night footy, the Swans and the Bombers. And Zach Merritt, first clearance of the game. Low kick inside 50, beautiful. There you go. As I just said five seconds ago, centre clearances has been an issue. And there you go, Zach Merritt let off the chain. Inside 50, easy as you like. Gresham, beautiful mark. I tell you what, though, Zach Merritt last time out had a very good game against us. Um, I think he had almost about 36 touches. He went off. So we've got to keep him quiet tonight. But anyway, Jay Gresham kicked a lovely goal from 55 out last week. Can he have a good start here for the Bombers inside a minute and kick the first? Kicks on its way. It should come back, and that is home. There you go. What a start for the Bombers. Straight out of the centre bounce, inside 50. Beautiful stuff, and converts. There we go, a bit of an early wake-up call. That was the last week. Um, all my, uh, all my first in instinct tips, instinct tips, uh, but all one, but all but one, and I got one wrong because I thought Adelaide was in Adelaide. So I learnt uh, fast and fast, not changing my mind. Yeah, exactly, mate. You can't get, you can't change your tips. It it hurts here in the end. It could work, but it's just a bad habit to get into. But there we go. Too easy there. Been no issue these centre clearances, and they've got one straight off. A goal straight off it. As Cooper Gretsch would say, former star Saint Jane Gresham on the board. Okay, we'll bounce it again. Sammy Draper. First game back in quite some time. Draper, beautiful. And Merritt, another center clearance towards half forward. Good mark there from Caldwell at half forward. Plays on now, Zach Merritt. Who can he find? Twists and turns, and he goes inside 50. Tall target of Nick Cox. Holding free for Cox. Against Jake Lloyd. Well, two inside 50s, and there we go. It's going to be two shots on goal. Not an ideal start. Yeah, there's a bit of a bear hug there. Well, Nick Cox should convert. And geez, but talk about a bit of a mismatch as well. Can't be having Jake Lloyd and Nick Cox. Good turn at the SCG tonight. There we go. Cox convert, converts. Conceding two centre clearances, two inside fifties, and now two goals. Not the ideal start for us at all. Oh, well, there we go. Zach Merritt already two centre clearances to his name. And, I mean, Blakey's got a punch that. Really beaten the air one-on-one. -on -one. Cool, well did well. And 
giving away a free. Merrick going bananas early on. Well, come on, let's get it out of the middle here. You have to get really position up forward half. Grundy, it is he's kicked. Bobbling ball, McInerney tapping out the space. Nick Hine back in the team. Tommy Papley, ground level. Juzzy wants to try and continue this soccer chain. How about that from Paps? Nick Cox now. Clean hands in board to Archie Perkins. His kick was smothered. Only as far as Durham. Yeah, that's... Oh, what a contest there. Peter Wright. One of from Cunners in the hole. Oh, he's copped the nasty one. Nick Martin now. Good pressure from Juzzy. Got to wrap up the tackle. Row bottom, well done. Jeez, Cunners does not look good. I tell you what. Does that, that's almost like a Mason Wood-esque collision. He does not look good. Still hasn't moved. Oh, Cunners has been good for us the first two weeks. Oh yeah, and a bit of a fight going on. Jeez, oh, old team's getting involved. Okay, I just got to settle, like, Corey Warner could come as the sub right away. See this again on the replay. Because, yeah, Harry Cunningham, I heard, mate. Oh, no intent to go for the pill there, Peter. Right? I think that's a poor collision, to be honest. Yeah, they're getting the stretcher out. Yeah, I think he's gone for that, to be honest, Peter. Right? Well, yep, Cunningham is done. Getting the stretcher out. There's a uh, bloody you got to feel for Harry Cunningham. All right, well, a bit of a hold and play. Cunner's going to get the stretcher off. Okay, I think he's okay. But yeah, I think he's done. Definitely concussion. That's a nasty bump. Oh, he has to get on the cart. Fair enough. Oh, gets a free ride off the field. Yeah, well, Cunner's is done. Hmm. He's been important for us the first two weeks. So on will come Corey Warner then. That yeah, was Peter Wright on, mate. Yeah, it'll definitely be looked up by the MRI, I think. Anyway, let's remember, it was a holding the ball free. Um, Row Bottom's ball. Yeah, so he got there late. He didn't have any hands out in front. Yeah, I don't know, it would definitely be looked at. I, I, I don't have a clue. I don't know if that's going to be suspension or not. But Gunners comes off, bloody hell. You had to see that. Um, bugger, that's a small defender short. So, Corey Warner will come on, probably half forward. Alright, just going to get the walk off now. Right, well, come on. I have tempers have flared after that a little bit. Bit of a fight. I hopefully that wakes us up. Yeah, I think he's Gonski, Peter Wright. I mean, from what we've usually seen. Yeah, bloody hell. What? Okay, well, since he's done that, can he at least have a shite performance for the rest of the game? Because um, usually after a big bump, you don't have a good performance. 
or you know you know you've done something wrong all right come on let's focus on the football no oh, bloody hell now the cameras are on him and he's gonna get booed all the time Anyway, James at Rowbottom, ball on the wing. There was a crunching tackle from Rowbottom as well. Jeez, his pressure's been good. Bombs it now, down to our forward. Who's up here? Grundy's free. Yeah, it's interesting thought process of play, mate. Um, yeah. I, I've had a think about it and stuff like that. Um, people against it, people for it. I think down the line it could definitely be a thing. But we've never had that in AFL where, you know, you're literally playing with one man less out in the field. Anyway, Brody Grundy, he's had to kick his first as a swan. Could he go bang from 50 out? Uh, no, he can't. Oh. Oof. Almost. Well, it rushes through. Nick Martin kicks it in and goes short to Heppel. Oh, smother there from Juzzy. A few nice pressure acts early on from McInerney. I'm liking his aggression at the pill early on this season. Draper now gets the kick forward. Bouncing ball towards midfield. Goulden now. Oh, could be pinned there. Took him on a bit. Uh, umpire's, all, umpire's ball. Draper, well done out of the ruck again. Gets it forward. Blakey now off the ricochet. Out across to Lloyd. Back to Blakey. Look at him go. Oh, the hand pass so questionable. That was poor Durham now off the intercept. Peter Wright. Now Caldwell, low kick inside 50. Beautiful footy from Essendon. Langford marks. And he's got over the top here. Stringer. Florent, can he keep his feet? Stringer now. Breaks a tackle. Snap. Smothered. Now Florent. Good looking kick. Beautiful. Out to McInerney. Ah, oh, yeah, he played on. He ran out. Can okay, be only throwing. Well, that's the thing that that's the sort of the downside with Blakey. Sometimes he can do like the no look disposal, and he completely completely muffs it up. Now, Nick Martin now sells an insufficient intent out of the clearance, and he'll pump it in long. Can he find a target in the air? Peter Wright. Oh, almost McCartan now. Out to Florent. Not a great hand pass. Wicks now applying the heat. Grand level ball to be one. Blakey. And that's going to be not a great kick for Hayward. Doesn't really favour him. Sardis, good hands. Smothered kick there. Kick was from um, Perkins. Heaney, poor hand pass. Only as far as Hind. Merritt now. Needs to settle and find a target. Lowers his eyes towards the edge of 50. Oh, almost Stringer there. He looks like Ben Mackay, Jake Stringer, with that bloody haircut. Anyway, Braden Campbell now through the middle of the ground. Chips it out across. Good use. Chatty Warner now. He's not got the uh, the air shake boots on tonight. McDonald now. Good ball movement here. Can we find an option inside 50? Numbers galore. We go out wide. Errol Goulden. Good football. And we go back and board to Will Hayward. Feels like we just need a settler on the board. Need a cash in with a goal. Beautiful movement there. I think this is where we could really tear apart Essendon tonight. Just end to end. Lovely stuff. Will Hayward now. Going to kick out first. 
And he sure can. Beautiful kick from Wilbur. Well, that's our first on the board. Five-point game. Nice from Milba. I mean, inaccurate last year. Jeez, he was terrible from the set shot. He's usually been a really reliable goal kicker for us. Hopefully, he can get some form for the majority of the year. So far, so good from him. But lovely stuff there from Braden Campbell. Um, just look at that. Lovely stuff. Well, Corey Warner, there he is, lining up at half forward. Let's get one out of the middle here. Goldstein and McLean to do the ruck work. Row bottom. Good tackle there from Durham. Hobbs is in there as well. And there's Chad Warner lining up at full forward. Gilden now, a little bit of a whack kick forward, only as far as McGrath. And that kick's only as far as Blakey. Now Florent. Not 15 for Campbell. Needs to get and go. Always faster lateral movement. Nice slow kick. Jordan should have marked that football. Wide right on from Dersma. Intervening. Quick hands now. Chance for Dersma. And now an opportunity lines up. Oh, beautiful kick from Gresham. It was touched. Langford. Goals. Beautiful stuff from Carl Langford there. They just had their spare man out the back. They used it and they go off it. Okay. Umpire's call's actually touched here. I don't think there was anything there. It didn't look like touched at all. Looks like there's a clear gap. I think it's a goal. <laughs> you know, front half turnover there conceded from us. It looks like they're going to get a third goal off it. Okay, it's going to be a goal to Langford. Got to keep this guy quiet tonight. I mean, bloody hell, he always loves to have a good game against us. Four goals, I think it was, back in 2022, and he was good last year. Need to start to square the ledger a bit in the, around the footy and in the clearances. But drop mark there from James Jordan. Pretty much his goal. By the way, gents, beverage for tonight. Passion fruit kombucha, not bad. Not one of my favourite flavours, but I tell you what, it's not bad to guzzle down. Well, not the ideal start. I mean, you always got to push it. You never want to push your luck with us. Um, we were a bottom four midfield for fucking clearances last year, so... We're back in the middle. I need to start getting on top around the footy. And tuck off from row bottom there. Umpire's ball once again. One goal, one, seven, three goals. Zip 18, Essendon's weight. Four hit outs to zero. Also the Bombers' weight. Good pressure applied from Errol Campbell now. McLean back to Chad. And now Matt Roberts going to get pinned. Oh, what pressure there from Jai Menzi. Now off the turnover. Here come the Bombers. Deep kick inside 50. Who's up? Almost Peter Wright. Melican. Good game last week. Good attack on the footy. He's dispossessed. And now Dersma. Back now to McGrath. He launches from 55 to a high ball. Blakey. Spalls it out. Here's Corey Warner. Not a bad attack on the footy. Sardis did well. Chad now. Goes back to Blakey. And yeah, good vision out across Errol Goulden. In board the Paps. Now Corey Warner. Not really the greatest kick, but clean, good on the lead. It looked bad initially.
Blakey now. In board to Matty Roberts. Rising star nominee from round one. Looking pretty settled back there, which is good to see. I wanted to see like a Sheldrick or Roberts type, but that could have a possibly good year. And so far, so good for Roberts as Florent now goes inside 50. Could we find a mark? Almost to Marty. Ben Mackay now. Good good game he had last week, and Heppel goes out across. Works for Sardis. Sardis now, low flat kick. Nice one finds Sam Durham. And Tommy McCartan did well in front. He only throw it. Still a bit of booze for Peter Wright. See how it comes off for a spell. It's going to be free against McLean. Draper's ball. Nick Martin now, good use, finds Setterfield on centre wing. And Setters now goes towards the edge of 50. Blakey did well in the air. McCartan will carry that one over. So yeah, no, I think Bombers are just more hungry at the moment. Um, beating us around the footy a lot more. Um, we haven't really been able to settle much. Two clearances to seven, that, that just sums it up really. Ground level now. Well done from Stringer. Sardis gets a little inside 50. Well done there from Melican. Really want this guy to keep fit for the whole year. Um, he's just been hammered with injury the last six or seven years of his career. Hayward now. Good looking kick for Paps. Papley now will just want to launch it long down the line. Towards half forward. Marty did well to bring it to ground. Heaney out across. Hayward without it. That will be a free. Uh, yeah, it should be Ion. Don't know actually when that game is. Anyway, that's a poor kick there. Got to use it better, Hayward. Easy stuff for Stringer. Good use out the wing and Hind could go here. Oh, Jesus, drop that. How has he? He breaks the tackle though. That's poor from Lloyd. Corridor kick looks good, but Blakey's there to put the spoil in. Only as far as McGrath. Lacks a little squibby kick forward. Ball to be won here. Gresham, Setterfield did well now. Langford, he can bang from 45. Oh, what a goal from Kyle Langford. Too good. Bombers with their fourth. Completely outplaying us off turnover and clearance at the moment. Four goals to one. Not an ideal start at all from a Swans perspective. Can you believe it? This guy was a defender round one last year. Comes out and kicks 50 goals. Absolute revelation. He's already got two. It's just a lot of those 50-50s we've been unable to win early on so far. That's been our issue, and they are cashing in really estimate with their opportunities. Use there and Langford goes off it. Not an ideal start from our boys at all. No, it's a passion fruit flavor, Joyce. Not a bad one. Come on, Grundy. Needs something from you. He gets the center clearance. Poor kick again. Drop though from Heppel. McInerney now goes back to James Jordan. His first touch. Deep kick for Hados. Got to mark that football. Wasted chance there. Nick Cox gets it out. What can we do with our pressure? Wicks now. Hand pass. Doesn't really favour Campbell, but he's able to recover. Can he find a centering ball? Chips it up. Almost Heaney. Jordan gets the offloading hand pass. Lloyd now to Heaney. On his left boot. Low kick. Mackay did well. And now Heppel out of the fence. And that's a good kick. Finds Nick Hine. Oh, no. It was a touch ball. Oh, I think he dropped it. Did he drop it? Look like he marked it. Sardis now out of the 50. Roberts did well in the air. Jordan, good attack on the footy. We'll take a stoppage.
Beautiful head out there from Goldstein. Gets it straight to Merritt, and McGrath can whack one forward. Melican and Draper to fight for this one. Oh, Melican did well. How about that soccer? Look at him going. This is the fastest Melican's ever run. Please don't injure a hamstring. Lewis Melican. Get around him. Sensational. Hopefully he hasn't done his hamstring. Because that's the fastest I think I've ever seen him run. <laughs> anyway, McDonald now. We'll set it up. Who are the flies? Maybe Haydos. Hey, what a chance. Oh, almost. Spinning through now, and Perkins gets it out of the 50, only as far as Matty Roberts. Starting to get a few repeat entries here. Kick looks good. Ah, oh, beautiful use, Matthew Roberts. Finds Hayward on the lead. Come on, Wilbur. Snap around the corner. Oh. Oh, what a kick. Why can't Haywood do that every snap? Half the ones he hits the belly of the ball. What a goal from Wilbur. Okay, much needed snag. 11 point margin. Good footy there. We'll take it. Yeah, poor use there from Perkins. Only as far as Roberts. How about that in inside delivery, though? It was special. Okay. What a goal. Two goals for Haywood. Lovely stuff. He's having a good start to the year himself. Well, can we start now to get a bit of a roll on things? Perkins, well done. Merritt now, good hands to Cox. Perkins, inboard to Setterfield. Another one to Draper, and they finally get it inside 50 here. Trickling ball. McCartan did well. And attacks his footy first. Hobbs did well. Chance now. Caldwell, high ball. Oh, almost Goldstein, and we rush it over. And there's the Bombers' first point of the game. Short kick now, Matty Roberts. And across to Dane Rampy. Now centering ball. Uh, didn't quite hit the cor corridor kick to Heaney. Oh no, sorry, Corey Warner, I should say. Murray did well, only as far as Florent, though. And he whacks one forward. Poor kick. Straight to Setterfield. Will Setterfield now. Chip one out across to half forward. Good looking kick. Ben Obbs. Out of the team last week. First game of the season. And he's put that one out in the full. Yep, out in the full it is. Grundy now. That's just sort of a lazy kick. Puts J Mark under the pump. Rampy now. Just got a kick away. That's poor. Sowering ball from Gresham. Could work for Setterfield. I think it was a touch ball. Heaney now. Look at that for a second. Wax it out of there. Oh, wow. Works for Papley. Could we be out from this somehow? Paps goes deep. Chance now. McDonald. Good boy. Great mark. That is... <laughs> wow. We'll take that. Socket out by Heaney works. Papley Mark steep for McDonald. Well, can we convert? Four goals last week was good last week. Can he convert this? Uh, Got to kick that. He's missed. Two goals, two. Four goals, one. Not 15 for Merritt there, so Martin will get it back. Nick Martin. Doesn't really work there for Hobbs, but he's able to recover. But instantly met with a Papley tackle. Sensationally done. Corey Warner, can he get the hand pass out? He can. Grand level pickup, unable to do from Ricks. Heaney now. 
Oh, the sidestep. Nice. Wicks. Out in the space. Corey Warner for his second goal in the game. System. Oh, second goal in the AFL, I meant to say. Uh, he misses. Two goals, three now. Ten point margin. 5-16 to play. Apple now goes short in Durham. Oh, Durham now. Tried to take on Gordon. Now gets the kick away. Good contest there from Blakey. Blakey's probably been one of our best players, to be honest, apart from that no-look hand pass that resolves in a turnover. He's held up well back there. So far, so good. Beautiful stuff in this stoppage. That's better. Heaney now. Long, long kick inside 50. McLean in the air almost. Ball at ground level here. Can Papley do something? Toe poke. Florent just gets the hand pass out. Papley. Oh, the no-looker. Not bad at all. Hayward. Back to Lloyd. Instantly pressured. Kick wasn't great off the boot. Dersman now. Good hunt on the footy there from Jordan. Well done from McGrath as well. Warner now. Instantly the meat and the sandwich. And the Bombers get it out through Merritt now. Gresham. And now Caldwell. Low kick on the wings of beauty. And he finds Langford on centre wing. Langford now goes to half forward. McCartney in a good spot. Can't take the mark. Stringing out. Oh, holding the ball well done, Grundy. Need to see more stuff like that from our Ruckman. Grundy now out across to Blakey. And he goes out across to Gildan. He's got plenty of tr got plenty of green grass here. Gildan now. Oh, lovely kick out of Chad. He can go. Oh, inboard. Lovely stuff. To Juzzy. Now to Heaney. Good movement here. Gildan now. Long kick. Looks good for Hados. Beautiful movement. We've been able to do that really nicely in this first term. How about that? This is where I think we can get them tonight. Adam McLean. Let's get back to back goals. Puts it through. All right. Four-point margin now. Last two in a row. Starting to settle a little bit more. And there's the young Swannies fans up and about. You'll have to see it. Lovely stuff. Right, well, Bombers by four. Four goals, one, three goals, three. Two fifty-five to play. We'll go again in the ruck. Poor bounce from the umpy. Anyway, just got a bit of water as well. Right around the kombucha already. Might have to grab another can at half time. Not a bad beverage for you. Saturday night. Warning now. Good hunt. Gonna be a heat free to Heaney here. Hopefully going well, Bailey. Welcome to the stream. Short kick now to Chad. Back to Heaney. Wants to get in and go. Option, not a good one. Straight down Ben Mackay's throat. Rush that kick a bit. And now Hobbs in the D50. Chip it out across to Heppel. Good hit up. Finds Perkins. Now Hind. Corridor could be on here for the Bombers, but instantly, Matty Roberts, well done. He's done that well so far, and we could punish off the turnover here. Papley Soccer's out in the space for McDonald. Who's he got on? He's going to go for the lead kick of Joel. Yeah, that's going to be in the back. We'll take the free. Good stuff there. Hey, Matty Roberts, well done.
Well, Joel, to put us in front for the first time tonight. Oh, snap around the corner, don't hold your breath. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, shut up then. What a goal from Amani. Okay, we're back in front. Well, let's keep this... Let's keep this going. Amadi party, of course, Lockie, mate. You'll have to see it. Okay, a bit of a turnaround here. Three in a row our way. But how about that from Roberts? He just knew it right away. Put his body on the line. And yeah, it was a high contact there against Laverde. And Amadi, what a finish, eh? Great stuff. Okay, back in the lead. We're starting to get on top around the footy a bit. And there we go. All our scores have come off turnover. A few end-to-end -end as well. Holding free. Going to go Perkins' way. It's against Row Bottom. There's Cunners. Yeah, bloody hell. Anyway, inside 50 here for Essendon. Could they find a mark? Well done there from Peter Wright. Brought it, brought it down brought it down to ground really well. Grundy now. Off floating hand past Lloyd. Wax it out of there. Out towards the wing. Hind drops the mark. Amarty, good pressure applied. Find the boundary, gents. And that's what we'll do. G'day, Darby. Hopefully going well, mate. Yeah, no, pressure's been better. I think we've now started to, to, to just turn up a bit around the footy too. Papley now, choosing ball. Just over the top for Foreign, a bit too much. Hobbs now. Whacked forward from um, a chance here for Langford. Oh, Chad, well done in the air. Roberts, once again, has been good. Got to be afraid of Roberts. Okay, now Chad will hold it up. Well. Thirty-eight seconds to go to a quarter time. This can be Doss's ball. Oh, Gotta mark that footy. And Wicks will win a free. <clears throat> okay, Roberts now. Can he find someone? Can Grundy fly, maybe? Or Amadi? Joel, beautiful. Oh, he's dropped it. Heaney snap. Ah, oh, he's missed. Wasted chance there for Heaney. The Heaney genie. Your footy, Joel. Oh, foreign event. Okay, well, that'll do it for the quarter. Well, well how about that, eh? The first term's had everything. Essendon jumped out of the blocks, but um, we've been able to settle a bit. Um, our foot skills have definitely improved, and I think we looked at just, just more settled out there. We've gotten all our goals from turnover. All right, well, quarter time. Four goals, 4.28, four goal, 1.25. Uh, much better the last 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, look settled. Turnover game starting to improve, and... We've gotten a few of our goals from that end-to-end -end ball movement too. Anyway, we'll have a look at the at the uh, quarter time stats, shall we? Have a look. So, yeah, in our last 10 minutes, a lot better. Um, three and eight of goals down our throat. Um, thanks to Haywood and McLean and Amadi. Heaney missed that opportunity late, though. Um, okay, so... Score involvements. Heaney leading with four. Contest possession leader. Heaney and Grundy leading with five. Um, disposal leader. Heaney with 11. 
Great first quarter. Uh, Merritt, followed by Merritt, Martin, and Heppel with eight each. <clears throat> Um, clearance leader, Sammy Draper. He's been good against Grundy throughout a lot of contests. He's got four clearances. Um, inside 50 leader, three for Merritt. McDonald's got three as well. Sending clearances, two to Archie Perkins and two to Grundy. Contest possession leader, as we already said, was Heaney and Grundy. Um, have a look at the team stats. Uh, 16 to 15 inside 50s our way. Um, yeah, there you go. 13 to 5 clearances. Um, that's been an issue. We've just really been able to get on top um, at ground level and through transition and off turnover, um, given that's all our four goals off that. Um, what else is there? Intercept possessions. We'll have a look. Assuming it's, yeah, Ben McKay with three, Grundy with three, Cox with three. But yeah, a bit of a slow start, but I think we look a bit more settled now. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to add a point. thought I did. There we go. But yeah, consider, considering we were three, four goals down, um, I'll take a lead heading to quarter time for sure. Uh, we just got to keep it up. Yeah, exactly right, Bailey, mate. Ball's in our court here to really gain, gain control. Uh, but yeah, as I said earlier, Matty Roberts, I'm really liking. Um, he's looked composed back there, and he's made some great spalls and defensive acts, and he's kicked the footy really well too. So I'm liking him early on. No, unfortunately, I'm not showing this live, Oscar, mate. Um, copyright, all that stuff. <clears throat> yeah, we're back in the telecast now. Uh, but yeah, got to start getting on top around the footy though. Um, you know, can't just ultimately rely on just goals off turnover. Got to win at the source a bit more. But yeah, that replay again. Looking at it more, yeah, he, he tucked he tucked in as well to the contact. Yeah, he moved his elbow. I think he's gone for a few weeks there, Peter Wright. Probably two plus, I'd say. Yeah, fair enough, Iron, mate. You know, it's fair enough. You always have a bit of soft spot for teams. Go, yeah, Zach, hopefully go on, mate. Man, I hate this. I can tell it's going to be another close one. Yeah, possibly, mate. Uh, but the last 10 minutes were promising. Ah, uh, but bloody hell. We've left a few on the table, though. Four goals, four. Oh, cheers, uh, EG, man. Appreciate the kind words. Um, sorry I haven't been as enthusiastic, you know. Well, there's a goal against the Swans. I try and keep, um, obviously, as, uh, as neutral as I can. But yeah, I think, you know, ball movements been our, our best thing, though, this first term. Uh, overlapping numbers, especially throughout the flanks, have really been unable to defend it. So, actually, hold up. Let's concede more inside 50s and we'll just continue to get our goals from our defensive 50. It's working. Yeah, hopefully we do, mate. Hopefully we do win. 
We'll see. Okay, well, let's get in the second term. Swannies by three points after a fast start from Essendon. Three unanswered goals down their name. And underway for quarter number two. And Grundy, there we go. As per usual, gives away free in the ruck. I think that's about two frees if you're away from a centre bounce. Good spoil there from the Liz. Jordan will get to this one first. Out to Campbell on his favoured left. Just whacks one out. Gains a bit of territory. Wicks did well, ground level. Setterfield gets there first. Mackay, back to Laverde. And now Zach Merritt. And just backtrack to Dyson Heppel. Kick looks for Draper. That's a good mark. And yep, that's going to be... Yeah, Stonewall 50 there against Errol. Well, Draper, he could go bang here. Hawks in experience while Steve has had a few premiership plays in the lineup. Yeah, given that's why I tipped them, to be honest, Petri, you can always, I think, trust the Don... Uh, trust uh, the... Uh, trust the... I've had a mind blank. Trust the D's. <laughs> Got the same promise. Yeah. You know, Mark, hopefully go well, mate. No, hey, Sammy Draper, can he go bang? It's his first game, obviously, from for quite some time. He can make us pay here. Kicks on its way. Looks good. There we go. Sammy Draper puts the bombers back in front. Off for 50. Can't be having that. Lack of discipline there. Oh, bloody now. Another fight's happening. Okay, well, I think we've just given away free here. Bloody hell. We've got to settle down here. Got to settle down. Yep. Settlefield's ball. Another easy inside 50 coming up then. Low kick inside 50, not a good one. Florent drops the mark. Melican gets there first. And oof, just gets the hand pass out. Gresham, good attack on the footy. Chance now for Durham. Breaks it free. Nick Cox misses. Four point margin in favour Essendon. Geez, this one's firing up a bit. Judy Bolton. Jude Bolton doesn't sound happy. <laughs> uh, Dane Rampy now. Out of the fence. Going to have to make McDonald work for this. Good body work in the end. Good attack in the mark. Heppel now. He's having, he's having a good game early on so far. Dyson Apple. Bloody hell. We're making the grandpa look good. Why not from Rowie? No Durham now. Low flat kick. Oh, Caldwell just missed the hand pass. Campbell attacks his footy. And he wins the height. We'll take it. <laughs> Running Campbell now. Low kick's a nice one. Papley. On Papley now will peel off and play on chance now on the air for Heaney. Oh, just couldn't take the mark. Pressure applied from Wicks, but they get it out here, the Bombers, through Nick Cox. Well, that's a poor kick, straight down Warner's throat. Martin keeps it in. Durham, oh, just gets it away. Perkins now. Good hands here from the Bombers. Can they get forward here? Gresham, chipping ball out across. That's a nice one. Caldwell. And a low kick's a nice one. They could be out here. Peter Wright.
In ball kick, Jade Gresham. We'll set it up. We've got the numbers here. 1v4. Lloyd, Campbell. Now Jordan, low flat kicks, nice to Paps. We can go here, Judd Warner breaks the tackle. Out across now for Sammy Wicks. Got numbers, Heaney's on over the top here. Does it work? It sure does. Isaac Heaney, beautiful transition again from the D50. It should go back and convert. Isaac Heaney, what a start to the season. He's had 11 disposals, five of those contested, four score involvements. Can he get a goal here, directly in front? Sure can. Back in the lead. Now let's just settle down. Bloody hell. No more fights. Better than that. But yeah, another goal from D50. Our ball movement's really been the difference in this game so far. Okay, back in the middle we go. Two-point margin. Turning into a bit of a scrap fest like we expected. Roy Bottom, good attack. Heaney gets it out. Oh, nice hands. How about that? Out to Juzzy. He'll just go back. Pushing the back. Gotta be afraid of McEnany. Okay, don't give a reverse. <sighs> McEnany now. T Pentry, who's up here? Joel or even Grundy hits the deck. Hey, what a chance. Snap around the corner. Oh, well done from Hind on the line. Pushes it through. Five goals, five to five goals, too. Hind goes short, Nick Martin. Now across to Laverde. They've got numbers down the line here, the Bombers. Laverde goes long down the line. Blakey in the spot. Rampy brings it to ground. Merritt always clean. Little hands out in the space for Hobbs. But a good tackle there from Matty Roberts. Uh, he's had a good start so far to this game, Matthew Roberts. Grundy, well done. It's a clearance. Kicks only as far as Martin, but he drops it. And now Corey Warner. Whack it forward. This could work. Joel. Can he push out Laverde? Mackay. Oh, poor hand pass. Papley on the intercept. Quick sailing ball for Joel. He's got to get rid of it. Dispossessed. Hold the ball. Another wasted chance there. He should have just gone for goal, Papley. McGrath now out of the 50. Good spool from Ramps. And it works. Out for Haywood. Set a field. Bit of a fumble. Gets it out. Laverde, and now McGrath, Hobbs, got to settle with a kick here, that will do, for Sardis. Sardis now down the line, Lloyd's up for this one, good boy, 50. Thank you. And Draper's going to be copping it now, okay, no high tackles, no reversals, go forward. All right, while they fight, let's get a goal out of this, quick kick, Papley. Bloody hell, this is, this is, it's all happening here. Bloody hell. Oh, okay. That's intentional there from Draper. He knew, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he's doing. You could see, you could see the anger in his face when he was applying that late hit. 
Bloody hell. It's all happening. Tommy Papley, can he get on the board? Ten touches, six marks already for him. Three score involvements. It's a comeback. Sneaks home, you beauty. Okay, for the first time this game, we've got a margin over a goal. In our favour, of course. Now, you can watch on Channel 7 if you've uh, got access to free to wear, EJ, mate. Or if you're overseas, unfortunately, I don't know, mate. Can't help you. I'm watching it on Kaya, though. Um, yeah, just a streaming service. That's exactly right, said mate. Paps, you ripper indeed. On the board. He's been heavily involved early in this game too, Paps. Six marks, three score involvements. I think, I think that was his 11th touch. That's going to be high there against Errol. Free to Durham. Durham now will go inside 50. Who's up? Peter Wright almost. Goes for the fly. Menzi now. Jane, dangerous hand pass there. Uh, but good tackles applied, umpire's ball. Get out there. Roberts dispossessed. Oh, poor hand pass there from Jordan Gresham. Just couldn't get purchase on the kick. Oh, my God. For deliberate. Mmm. I mean, to be honest, what was Lloyd thinking there? He wasn't under any pressure. Yeah, that's eh, it's deliberate. Like, it just is. They've got to start paying those from now on uh, consistently. That's a brain fade from Lloyd there. It means he misses. What What is with, what is with these chances? No one... We've seen this. We've seen this a few times this year. No one can kick these goals. Oh my god. We saw it with, um. Who did we see it with? Uh, Richmond player. Oh, what's his name again? I've had a mind blank. You know, he missed against Carlton. I've had a mind blank. I forgot his name. I'll know who it is once I know the name. Good pressure there. Applied. Let's force a turnover here. Wicks, good boy. You now it's getting and go. Oh, clean pickup. Who was that from? That was sensational. Now Hind. Yeah, better kick. Oh, drop mark there from Laverde. Got a bit of space here, though. Essendon on the attack. Martin hands to Goldstein. Back in board to Martin. Can he find someone here? He continues to link in the chain out across the right. Now Gresham. This is some good movement here for the Bombers. Can they find a target? Go, 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 Ryan Mansell's the player. Anyway, Hobbs misses. So, you know, Ryan Mansell, that, that was the player. That was the player that missed that chance. Um, pretty much, you know, remember the snap against Carlton? I don't know why players can't be converting those chances. We've seen a few misses. Anyway, Lloyd, oh, jeez. Not the greatest kick, but good. got on Robot. I'm able to back up. Now Warner can glide through the middle of the park. He's got a bit of time and space here. Now cuts the angles, goes across. Oh, the bounce doesn't really favour Hayward. It was a bit of a crappy kick. Good attack on the footy there from Campbell. Got to get rid of it. He just gets the hands out. Pressure applied from Menzi. Oh, he's done very well done. How about this from Braden Campbell? Go again, son. Oh, what an effort. But he loses out on it. Didn't have the numbers. Now Corwell. Out in the full. That was out in the full. Oh, you're kidding. Stringer or Mark. Over the top. They'll go from this, the Bombers. We'll see this again. All right, one point game. We'll see this again. <laughs> We've been having... I tell you what, it's all been updated with the out-of-bounds issues. 
Yeah, catch you later, Iron mate. We'll see this again. That was out of bounds. That was out of bounds, as BT would say. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Well, Gresham's got a second. Oh. I can't, you can't see the angle, but it looked out. Well, Lingy was on the angle. He said it was out of bounds. So, oh, well, it's behind us now. Chad. Ball up. Oh, well, when it happens, here's what it is. We've had a few of those this season. Had it with Higgins, but Higgins, to be fair, I thought that was actually in. Because if you draw like the invisible line, it actually could be in from a top angle. Good contest there from J-Mac. Win this one, son. Love his attack on the footy. That's... Oh, wait. 50. Oh, he's kicked that. Yep. Oh, bloody hell. It's all happening. A few fights, a few bumps, a few no calls. A uh, low kick here, perhaps. Ooh, almost able to take the mark. The small man, now Stringer. Through the middle of the ground, low kick. Doesn't work well. Nick Blake able to intercept Roberts now. Out across to Lloyd. Bloody hell, Robert, Roberts feels more reliable than Lloyd. Is that crazy to think already this early on in his career? Florent now. Oh, jeez, Florent. What was that, mate? You've got to kick that. Poor turnover in midfield. Now the Bombers. What can they do? Merritt. Out across to Nick Martin. He can glide here. Has got options. Oh, just gets the hand pass out. Great pressure. He couldn't see. And Lloyd now. Where he can go? J-Mac. Out across. Corey Warner. Low kick. Isaac Keeney. Not touched. Corey Warner now. Ah, uh, yeah, time there. Should have converted. You know, Blades, hopefully going well, mate. Top 1,000 for fantasy. Oh, very nice, mate. Sounded like you're having a great start. I don't know where I am. I think I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had many of my plays play yet, so we'll see. I don't really check my rank threat, the, the, the round, because it's... Yeah, you know. You might have a lot of plays playing early on. You might not. Hobbs dispossessed. Florent did well. Lloyd now. Corey Warner dispossessed. Dersma gives it back. Perkins, Merritt, now Durham. Good pressure applied here, but the, could they get out the back here? Essendon. Good hands from um, old mate to Perkins. That was Gresham, sorry. Perkins now. Centering ball. Could work here. That's a good kick, Peter Wright. And you could probably back him here, back him in for the distance here. Go for the Swans egg, mate. Oh, I'm sorry, your name's not Egg. E G. I don't know how I should say it. Or now it's yet. I think a pitch and vote will be the cherry on top. Yeah, no, Roberts has been very good, Sydney. I'm liking him. He's already he's, he's felt almost as reliable as Lloyd, or even better than Lloyd. Anyway, Peter Wright, usually a good set shot. Kicks on its way. Oh, how about that? He's flushed it. What a goal. Bombers back in front. Well, well, the ball was in dispute there in between the arcs, but we just weren't able to make the chances um, down our end, and the Bombers are able to... Cash in with their opportunity. There's them back in front. Well, a bit of a taste of our own medicine, S, uh, own medicine there as Essendon able to go end-to-end. -end. Peter Wright's first goal of the game. 7.50 to play to half-time. Back and forth now a wee bit this game. Bombers back in front. Zach Merritt, was he held? Nothing given. 
Great hand pass to centre field. Good pressure again applied. Handy quick hands out of the congestion, but only as far as another contest of players. Uh, Corey Warner now, now James Jordan. Centering ball, who can go up? Nick Cox in a good spot. Ball hits the deck. Maybe a chance for the crummies here. Wicks supplies the pace. McInerney. Oh, Amadi. He's kicked it. Oh, what a goal from Joel. That was like a rainbow flick. Seven goals, six, 48. Seven goals, four, 46. We're back in the lead. Yeah, good, thanks. Hawks fan, off the go on yourself, mate. All right, Joel's now off to the pine. <laughs> the back heel from Joel, that's special. Two goals for Amadi. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, back and forth this game, back in the lead now. Rundy now, hit out. Heaney first to it, quick hands to Chad, and he can break here. Gets the centre clearance towards half forward. Kick doesn't really favour Hayward. Nick Cox did really well in front. He's had some nice moments, Nick Cox, so far. And just a perfectly edge kick finds Jai Caldwell. High kick now, Zach Merritt. Beautiful vision there from Merritt now. The Bombers can go inside 50. We've got the numbers here. Dot Goldstein. Good mark. Had the mismatch there. Grundy wasn't back with his opponent. Horse does not look happy. Anyway, Goldstein should convert and put Essendon back in the lead here. And he's got his first as a Don. Still feels weird he made the move across. I mean, was it 16, 17 years at bloody North Melbourne? Well, nope, Essendon back in front. Eight goals, four, seven goals, six. Bombers by 4.609 to play till half time. There's a one on two there as well. It was just a poor mismatch from us in defence. Back and forth now, a wee bit. Both teams having the fair share of goals. In this second term, as Zach Merrick gets a clearance here for Essendon towards half forward. Good mark there from Jordan. Um, I think he's like 37, 38, 36. No, mate. Somewhere. One of those ages. Closest to the pin. Oh, jeez. That's a dodgy kick there from Jordan. Being on a throw-in. Uh, I don't know anything, mate, to be honest. Um, someone will be really back and forth. We sort of lost our edge of control um, with possession, though, in this second term. Just generating a lot of stuff from free-flowing ball movement and not getting it done well enough in the trenches. Another stoppage one there from Essendon. Good score from Roberts. That's only as far as merit, though. Can't get the clean pick up. Good tap there again from Roberts. He's done some nice things this game. We could break free here. McDonald. Over the top here. Could work to Haydos. Oh, great Mark Laverde. Jeez, that's a big win. I mean, we had numbers out the back there. Four intercept marks each for both teams. Cox around the corner. Jeez, that's a poor kick. Only as far as Wicks. Papley. Oh, what a contest again. Row bottom. Good heat applied. Now 
There's seen some good contests tonight. Nah, that's just a good contest there from Laverde. Much more fairer one than Peter Wright's earlier. Went for the went for the spoil, went for the ball. 450 stoppage here. Grundy did well with the hit out. Only as far as Martin. Very well done. Gets it out to Hobbs. And now out to Setterfield. A whack kick forward. Lees and Goldstein. One on from Blakey. Oh, beautiful shepherd there from Goldstein against the Lees. Caldwell out in the space. I've got the overlapping options here. Langford a low kick. Oh, he has to leave his man, Lloyd. He did well. J Mac. And we'll carry it over. Nah, I can't. No adults, mate. Now high ball inside 50 from Caldwell. Ball hits the deck and goes through for a point. Five point margin in favour of Essendon. That goes five to seven goal six. Lloyd kicks into Goulden. Low kick, a nice one for Heaney. Heaney now. Corridor has got to go here. Florent, good boy. Low flat kicks, a nice one. Goulden's worked hard here. Inside 50, nice. Geez, how about that work rate from Goulden? Pushing up the ground, you know, he, he received the kick in and he was able to move through the corridor and get another kick inside 50. And there we go. Papla now can put us back in the lead. Tommy Papley now, one goal straight. 11 touches, 7 marks. Can he kick a second of the game? I don't think he can. That's across the face. 7 goals, 7 now. Game's got a bit in it. Yeah, for sure, mate. You know, all, all these matchups always are close. Always have a bit of spice. We've been seeing some big contests. Merritt now, corridor kick could work. Setterfield unable to take the mark. Well done from Lloyd. Having a better second quarter. Roberts now. Composure. Papley. Oh, the one-hander. Olay, as uh, Dwayne Russell would say. Fortune favours the brave. Okay, I'll shut up with the stupid uh, Dwayne Russell uh, comments as Blanky now goes long. Should have hit it up a target. Another point. Three point margin in favour of an accident. 2.53 to play till the half. Laverde now back to McGrath. Kick doesn't really favour Cox. Boundary throw in. Boundary throw in here. Grundy gets a little toe poke forward. Only as far as Dummer is dispossessed. Papley now off the intercept. Gives it straight to Goldstein. Perkins. Setterfield, bucks one round the corner. Liz is under this one, but so is Langford. Good spoil there, came from Rampy. Blakey now, good composure. And good hit, finds Goulden. Errol now wants to go corridor. Beautiful vision, Tom Papley. Redeem yourself, son. Great football. Once again, Errol Goulden. Any Brownlow this year. Oh, well, I saw. I actually, I actually saw the replay. He bloody gave Nick Hind a bit of a punch on the mush. So he's probably going to be suspended for a week. Oh, Brownlow dreams are over. I'm afraid. Bloody hell. So my dream as a year seven back in the day of Isaac Heaney winner Brownlow medal will it ever come true? If he gets suspended, oh, I don't think so. Come on, Paps. Chance to put us back in the lead. And oh, sneaks home. I thought I was missing. We'll take it. We're 90 seconds to half time. We're in the sheds with the lead. A few lead changes in this game. I mean, I think I literally said that in my bloody predictions video. Or tipping video, so. There you go. Oh, very nice, Noah, mate. Gotta love the chant. Two goals for Paps tonight. Jeez, he's been everywhere. 15 touches, 9 marks, 2 tackles. He's got like 6 score involvements as well. Two goals, one. Here you can see the build up for Sydney, and that's that kick from the Lizard just 
scored 53 times as Sydney have scored off those three on three occasions. So you can see just the quality of hit. You'd love to be a forward leaning onto a, a leg like that. Back in the middle we go. 134 to play. Merritt now, Setterfield. Inside 50 here for the Bombers. They can fly, Liz. And a free to Tommy McCartan. Goulden now. Touch ball. Jazzy, quick hands to Rampy. On his right shoot. Nice kick. Heaney in the air, always clean. Campbell now with a big left shoe. He can probably go for goals from this distance, but he goes out across. Nice football. Aiden McLean on the mark. Okay, we'll chew some time off the clock here, Hados. Eight goals, eight, eight goals, five. Chance to extend the lead. But there again from the D50. This is this has been the game breaking, you know, the game breaking edge, really. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know. It's been the difference. Adam McLean now. Most improved player last year for sure. And a great season. Entering into 2024. With significant importance. Going to kick this. Ah, drifts across the face. Unlucky. Eight goals nine. Eight goals five. Martin now out of the 50. Good spoil there from Roberts once again. And five seconds, that should be the half. Um, good night, KK. Uh, do you like Sammy GFC? Um, oh, is that that he... Um, I think he's like the Essen supporter guy. Yeah, no, I think he's been in the chat before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't mind him. I, I, I don't really know him, um, but I'm assuming he's a good chap. Anyway, there's the siren. Oh, we were through there. And Papley gold off it. God damn it. Curse you, timekeepers. We would have gold off that. Well, there's the half. Four point margin. And bloody hell, talk about being Nostradamus. I told you this game would be a scrap. I feel we have the quality to be up a bit more and just run away with it. But Essendon are just doing well around the football, really. Um, and I've, I've been able to get some nice goals off ball movement, too. The stoppage is hurting us a wee bit, though. We'll have a look at the numbers. Um, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to move that. Um, but we'll take it in the lead at half time, only by four points. And it was three points at quarter time, so it's really going back and forth this game. Yeah, plus two inside 50s our way. There we go. 24 to 10 clearances. There we go. Exactly. 16 to 4 stoppage clearances. This is where it's killing us around the footy. You know, we can win this game and I'd be happy, but it's just it's the same old issues for us though. Like if we if we continue to have this inability to win out in the middle, we're not gonna be contenders. It just will not pay off. Um just kill it around the footy again. And yes, I know we don't have Parker, we don't have Mills, we don't have Adams, but bloody hell. They don't have Parrish, to be fair, and they're giving us a good beating around the centres. Uh, Tommy Papley, though, um, he's been great this first half. Three inside 57 score involvements, three intercept possessions, and he's got two goals, one to his name, and 15 touches, nine marks. He's been working well. Isaac Heaney leading all disposal getters. A goal and 19, four marks, five clearances. He's been doing it all in the first half, Isaac Heaney. Five intercept possessions for Lloyd, better second half. Um, Setterfield, Mackay, Heppel and Cox and Blanky with four each um, four centre clearance as well for Heaney, inside 50s four and four for Setterfield and McDonald uh, contest possession leader is Setterfield and Heaney also with nine each so yeah it's been really back and forth, Essendon have been able to win it at the source while we've been able to get a lot of our goals from just our good ball movement um, that's really been each team's strength really um, so yeah if we go on stream, mate, if we go. Um, oh, yeah, happy birthday, by the way, mate. It feels like every bloody stream somebody says that. I feel like probably at least one person's telling porkies, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, if it is your birthday, hopefully I've had a great day, mate. No worries, Port Power. Um, 
But yeah, we've just really got to improve around the footy. That is probably our issue. Um, yeah. Okay, anyways, um, so yeah, we'll do the, we'll do the normal halftime stuff. I'll, I'll be back in a sec, though. I'm just going to go take a whiz. Uh, but yeah, it's been a pretty even half. I mean, if you're a neutral, you're probably loving this. Back and forth, good-looking game. Um, but yeah, we've got to, from a Swans perspective, we've got to get start getting more ball around the footy. Um, that has been our issue. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a sec, everybody. Right, everyone. So, yeah, we'll we'll um we'll do the the probably the warple first, as we always like to do. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, fellas, on the stream. Obviously, if you don't know, just usually like to chip away at half time doing the um you know the usual stuff like the daily warple and all that whatnot. So we'll load that up. <clears throat> Okay, so is it? So we've been getting these first goes, um, which has been pretty cool. Uh, now who's this? No, Nick Cox. It's an Essendon player. Oh, you go. That helps. Not a midfielder though. Um, Harry Liberto. Okay, it's a medium defender then. Um, could be Heppel because he doesn't have his dreads anymore. There we go. Nice and Heppel. Three guesses, not bad. Um, okay. Footy grid now. We've been going well on the footy grid as well, getting a few unicorns and all that too. Okay, so St Kilda and Melbourne here, and Jack Billings, teammate. Bloody hell, okay. Um, all right, 20 plus uncontested possessions onwards. So we, we keep on getting these ones here. Um, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a think. 1999 onwards. Um, Twenty plus, maybe good ball. There we go, one percent, pretty good. Ten marks in a game. Uh, we're going Nick Rewalt. Yeah, that's a bad one actually. When I think about it, seven percent, not great. All right, St Kilda and Jack Billings teammate. Uh, plenty of options to go for here. We'll go Sipos. 2%, very nice. Melbourne, 20 plus uncontested possessions. Um, 
Hmm. Maybe like Langford or something. Oh no, sorry, Langdon. Not bad, Langdon. Eight percent. Oh, probably the greatest there. Melbourne, 10 marks a game. No, maybe Neats. 5%. Uh, Melbourne and Jack Billings, teammates. Um, I think they've had to have played a game too. We'll go Charlie Spargo. 2%. All Australian and has had 20 plus uncontested possessions a game. Um, I wonder if David Wiraponda has. Oh, there we go. Unicorn. Not bad. Another unicorn. Very nice. Okay, 10 plus marks a game. All Australian. Oh, geez, there is endless options to go here. There we go. Michael O'Loughlin. Another unicorn, very nice. And Jack Billings, teammate and an all Australian. Um Paddy Ryder. Oh, six percent. Okay, not bad. Could have been a bit better. Um, but yeah. Thirty four point two eight. If anybody wants to wants to have their go, feel free to let me know in the chat. Um if how how you went, see if you can get better than thirty four point two eight. Um, all right, how long we got left? Ten minutes. Okay, we'll do a uh, do a sporkle to pass the time. Well, what should we do? Father, sons. Could we give that a go. What have we got? Okay, I can't read that. Change it. Um, have a scroll down. Essendon being good, Sydney being bad. Um, I'd say probably a bit of both, Dave. You think Essendon around the footy have been good. I mean, they've been smacking us in stoppage, um, which were they were, very, they were very good there last week. So, yeah, they're teaching us a lesson. Um, and I think their ability as the game's gotten on to spread um, when moving the footy's been good. Most experienced player at each club. Give this, give this a go. Okay, so what we might do is we'll just get rid of the. In fact, we could move the scoreboard. Yeah, there we go. So you can just see a bit better. Yeah, okay, so this is what we got. We'll zoom in as well. Okay, so first one, Adelaide, Sloan, Walker. Brisbane, Zorko, Carlton, um, maybe Doherty. No, Ed Kerno's uh, left the club. 183 games. Now, it doesn't have to actually be at the club. Like, it could be someone that's moved over. 183. Maybe Newman? I don't have many old players, Carlton, when you think about it. Probably not Cripps. Oh, no, it is Cripps, 183. Collingwood, 383. Pendlebury. Essendon, Goldstein. Isn't it Goldstein? Maybe Hebel. Fremantle, 222. Um, Walters. Geelong, um, Ginger, Field, uh, Hawkins, there we go, Gold Coast, Swallow, um, not Wits, yeah, hopefully Sydney, mate, if we can, uh, if we can lift a bit, how do I, mate, hopefully going well. Um, go war debt GWS. 
Can I use that for Golko? So, not Swallow. Yeah, hopefully we can get up on mate. It's going to really be... Um, yeah, it could go really either way. Hawthorne, 281. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Melbourne. Gorn. Hmm, 216. Maybe Stephen May. Yep. North Melbourne. Um, 281. Not Simpkin. Um, old play, old play. Who is there? Skip that for now. Port Adelaide, Boak. Richmond. Um, Martin. St Kilda, 233. Maybe no. Two thirty three for the Saints. Uh, we'll move on for now. Uh, Sydney two eighty three. Um, Parker. West Coast two seventy seven. Um, Shuey's retired. Not Kelly. McGovern. Probably not. It's been injured. Yep. Uh, Darling. Western Bulldogs, 231. Pelly. Not Bonton Pelly. Feels like it would be. Uh, maybe Trawar. Yep. Okay, got a few left. Gold Coast, North, and St. Kilda. Membry. Yeah, no, he's been injured though. And he's been out throughout stages of his career. Um, I want some old campaigners. Brad Hill. Very nice. Okay, 271 for North. Luke McDonald. No, not Greenwood. Brandon Ellis. Yeah, very nice. Okay, and then finally North. Um, got a very young side, North Melbourne. They lost over a thousand games of experience, so it's like, who could this be? Um, yeah, no, Shields it is. It's not McDonald's, it should be Shields. Forget about him. There we go. Cool. Yeah, beauty. Now, nah, Zebra, Zebra retired last year, mate. I only got left four minutes. Players to record over 30 touches in a game. Might as well give this a go. Here we are. It'd be a bit easier if we could, if they could put in the date. Uh, I mean, the round, not the date. But anyway, we'll go. Viney, Oliver, Tracker. Um, oh, no, wait. No, sorry. Gold Coast mid. 33. Um, oh, sorry. No, that's not his age. Um, I thought it was his age. Um, Anderson. Brow. Collingwood mid 34. Dacos. Judo West Defender 33. Whitfield. Um, Judo West midfielder Green. Um, Coniglio. Kelly, 31 midfielder, Cripps, 30 midfielder, um, Meany, uh, Golden, I think he had 30, yep, 33 Essendon defender, uh, McGrath, 31 midfielder, uh, Merritt, 32 North defender, Sheasel. 35 Gold Coast mid. So it's, there's no Took Miller. Um, Flanders. Jersey up 35 against Adelaide. I didn't even realise that. Uh, Crouch. Bled. 
Western Bulldogs 32, midfield, uh, on Tim Pelly. No, um, Liberatore, Trelaw. Sarong, obviously, 46, that's an easy one. Frio, uh, Ryan, and then Fremantle mid. I think Brayshaw racked it up too. Okay, beauty. All right, well, we've been trying to really pass the time. But, uh, yeah, minute 40 till start of the second half, so I'll just hang five for a sec. Oh. G'day, Ant, if they go on, mate. Orcs fan, from what I saw, uh, absolutely rubbish. Yeah, no, as usual, this is way better to watch. Um, very low scoring from their end. Their conversion, they've been, they've been having struggles with. Um, yeah, just the forward line. You, you know, you, you see it on paper, and you're like, oh, it's exciting, but they just haven't been able to click together as a group. That, that's been a bit of an issue for them. Oh, I need a bloody charge me phone. Hang on, on fellas. Cardi sung Baby Shark. Oh, bloody hell's he doing punishments or something in his stream? <laughs> yeah, sure did, uh, Hawthorne Hawks fan. Gunson was sub. At least you're not a West Coast supporter. You know what, Roach? At least you can say this. You're the last non-Victorian team to win the flag. No? It's pretty special, but... Um, yeah, nah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I get what you mean still, though. It's... Uh, yeah, it's, been, it's a bit of a struggle, obviously, for you lot. Um, I don't know, see you go tomorrow. Opening the season. Okay, well, here we go. Underway for the third term. Swans by four points as we kick off into the second half. Got to get on top of the midfield. This has been no issue. It's been an issue for years, for goodness sake. Grundy now. Back to Blakey. I think it's to half four to Marty. Good mark on the lead. Hopefully going well, Aussie Trump fan. Good to see you in the stream. Marty now. Oh, I tell you what, he's got Grundy on. No, he doesn't want to go. Could it work for Logs? Oh, it can. Great mark. Well, there we go. Long ball inside 50. I thought Grundy was on there, but McDonald able to take that one against Mackay, who's usually good in the air. Good contested mark there. Let's hit the scoreboard pressure early on here. Yeah, I think he's gone shorts, mate. That's just a stonewall suspension from what we've seen. And I, look, I, I know it's easy for me to get emotional about it and say, oh, he's gone for a plank plus weeks, but you know, he just has to be suspended for that now when I look at it more. McDonald. And... Hits it home. Good start. Out to a nine, out to a ten point margin. How long? Um, I actually don't have a clue. It, it could be two weeks. It could be three. It could be four. It could be sent to the tribunal. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I think I think he's gone for that. Like, you know, he sort of elbowed in. In you know, didn't really go to go to the footy. Didn't commit. You know, he just sort of tucked in and. I was unfortunately cutting him a nasty knock on the temple, knock on the temple, and bloody hell, you know, I'm still annoyed by that because Cunningham's been important for us. It feels like we're missing him quite a bit because he's usually able to mop up well in our defensive 15. We've had some issues defensively tonight, a wee bit, especially off the turnover. Good stuff from McDonald. Up by 10 points now, middle half into the third quarter. Merritt now, dispossessed, good pressure from row bottom. Grundy, great grand ball get, and he gets the clearance. Swacky kick inside, 50. Bounce over Amadi. Hayward bounces off his chest. Ball in dispute here. Good attack on the footy there from Heppel. He gets it out. Wicks, out to Grundy. Hand pass, loopy ball, out in the space. 
Oh, jeez, Grunty. Good effort there, but Merritt's too fast as they can break free here now, the Dons. Hobbs, a low flat kick. Good movement there, Langford. A low kick's a nice one for Stringer. Cox all alone there. And he's got a man up. No, oh, he's going to have a shot, Stringer. Oof, across the face. Thought it was Stringer time there. And all back to nine points. Anyway, kick in now. Rampy receives it from Florent. Rampy now. He's had a good start the season. He goes out across and towards the next contest. Not the greatest kick, though. Draper able to get there first. High bobbling ball. I mean, as far as Langford. It's the 45. Out across to Martin. They can build here. The Dons again. Repeated entry. Low flat kick. Well done from Juzzy. Beautiful stuff in the hole. And he goes back here to McCartan. It's a high ball. Help you get Brody. Good boy. Ah, drops the mark. Warner gets it forward. Touch ball. Got to go for this, Errol. Laverde out to Sardis. Promising young player for the Dons. Inboard to Perkins. Another good youngster. Another inside 50. Can they find a mark? Peter Wright. Oh, great grab. Sensational stuff from the side, Peter Wright. And he can go back. Malikan had to be better there. Had to chop it. Had to attack the footy. Peter right now to kick two goals and to get this back to a three-point margin, just like it was at quarter time. Yeah, beautiful kick. Always a good set shot, Peter Wright. He's got two and back to three points. No, oh, again, this game just continues to go back and forth. No one can take full control of this. Really goal for goal, this game. Nine goals, nine goals, nine goals, six. Good vision there from Sardis. And yeah, Melikin didn't know what to do because he saw, he saw Gresham behind him like, oh, do I commit, do I don't? And it was too late. It wasn't a good spot. Good mark there from Bright. Back in the middle of the go. Back to three points. Heaney now. Can he break free here? He sure can. Out the row bottom. Just gets the kick forward. Not a great one. He's been ordinary tonight, row bottom with disposal. Good tackle from Haywood. Forward 50 stoppage here. Warner now. Just gets the hand pass out. Bounce doesn't favour it. Row bottom. Can't pass ball again. Yeah, no, he had a great 2022, Sid, mate. And 2021 when he came to the club for Peanuts from Gold Coast. Merritt now. Hand pass in the space only as far as our route. Now Blakey. He can get on his bike. Can he find a target? He goes deep. Maybe McDonald a chance to fly. Amadi, oh, almost. Mackay just gets it out. Hind now. Caldwell. Advantage here. I don't know what it was for. Sardis now. That's a poor kick. They've wasted that advantage. Jeez. McCartan with the intercept. Tommy now. Flat kick finds Goulden. Now what can our all manufacture here? Wants to set it up on the lead for Heaney. Oh, almost unlucky. Hobbs now met in a Jordan tackle. Lovely stuff. Grundy hit out. Papley's dangerous. Oof, he's dispossessed there. Nice. Good pressure apply from Wicks.
Don't really have one, Hawthorne, mate. I get that question quite a bit, but just love them all. Draper miss kicks it. Grundy, good pressure applied there. J Mac, nice hands out. Papley breaks free. Oh, good vision. What happened to the sound there? Bloody hell, it just faded out. Jez Jordan, he should have marked that footy. Don't think it was 15. Setterfield now. Oh, strong mark there from Stringer. Oh, he's done the, the old sell the candy again. He goes to Peter Wright. Chance now for Essendon. They've got numbers here inside 50. Good spool from Florent. Oh, awkward one for McDonald. Couldn't get the half volley. Now Sardis. Can he find an option? Just wax one, a high one on his left boot. Oh, and Sammy Draper's taken the mark. We had Grundy there and Rampy. No one able to spoil it. And Draper can go back. Had to bring that one to ground. Two contested marks in a row for Essendon inside 50. Oh, that's good there from Hobbs, to be fair. He able, he's able to push out Grundy. Tools are hurting us tonight, though. I mean, Draper, Langford, Stringer, you could even add in. Peter Wright, too. And he kicks it like a ruckman. Goes for a point. Need a lift here. Just getting out done around the footy at the moment. Physicality's been, I think, poor over all this game. Blakey now. Out across to Roberts. And board to Rowbottom. Rowie told to go. Wax it long. Grundy. Almost with the one mitt. Martin, very well done out the Dersma. Stringer, well done. Oh, that could be 50. Oh, nothing given there. That's lucky there from Rampy. Stringer now, does he find a target? Blakey's all over it, but he drops the mark. Heaney, Roberts, gets it out. Now chance for Stringer from a step. Pulls it across the face. The only throw in. Heaney now at ground level. Row bottom. No, no, sorry. Florent out of the fifth. I don't know why he's out of row bottom. Good pressure from Amadi. Could have picked that up there, J-Mac. But it could work here. Somehow for Papley. Can he pick it up? He can. Now yeah, we'll take the stoppage. Good pressure there from Hind. <sighs> Again from the stoppage, we lose another one as Durham whacks it forward, but we've got a bit of time here. McCutton's under this one. Chipping ball. And take the mark. Okay, I was starting to win the last few clearances, though. Six to the last seven our way. Warner, well done. He can break free here. Row bottom, Goulden. Got options here on the wing. A kick could be a bit of a... Yeah, not really. Great kick there from Errol. Martin couldn't get the hand pass out. Florent now. Only as far as Hobbs. Not great hands there. We're usually better there. Blanky, good pressure. Fantastic. Corey Warner goes to ground. He's got to get that hand pass out. Now's a chance to redeem himself. Warner, Goulden. Can he go bang from 50 out? Errol Goulden. Special. Special footballer, Errol Goulden. That's a lifter. Eight-point margin. Great kick from Goulden. Well, I tell you what, we needed something from him. His kicking's been good tonight, but oh, something on the scoreboard, please. 
And a bit of that sweet, sweet scoreboard pressure. Beautiful stuff from Gildan. Okay. Uh, but, then, you know, still, though, this stuff just ain't sustainable. You know, I've been able to get these goals from really ball movement and stuff. I'm back out to over a kick. Let's try and kick the next. Because this game's just been going back and forth. McLean now hit out. Perkins wins the centre clearance. Inside 50 he goes. Rampy, sensationally done. Great low battery again. Oh, sorry to hear that, mate. Get your phone on charge or whatever you're using or your iPad or whatever. Or your laptop. Rampy now and down the line. Dropped mark there from Heppel. Oh, boy. Now Warner can make it them pay. Breaks on a merit tackle. Oh, boy. Should have just given the hands. See, that's a bit of high ego Warner there. Hi, Ego Warner again. You know, we love Chad, but it's just like... Uh, just those things where it's like... Just give the hands. But yeah, most of the time he's able to break the tackle, so... <laughs> okay, but oh, crunching tackle from Merritt, though. Bang, it was like a, a Venus fly trap almost. Just bang. Put the clamps on him. Merritt now goes down the line. Works for Setterfield. Langford is an option here inside 50. Good spore from Ramps. But there, that's annoying when we're out there. We're literally out. We had a net, we had an overlapping runner. Warner just has to give the hands and he just goes for the break broken tackle and he fails. So it doesn't look too good. There's a chance now again off the stoppage for the Bombers. Sardis now. Oh, he had time to compose himself, but goes for a point. Seven point margin. Lloyd now out across to Milliken. Jeez, thank God. Florent marked that. It was like bees around the honeypot there with Essendon Fords. Just marked it. Florent now across to Chad. He can gain some grass here. Wants to pump it long towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Papley, he did well in the air there. Falls in McLean's lap. Backwards hand pass. Looked good. Papley height. Let's take it. Can't anger as Ollie Trump fan says. Yeah, it was a bit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Ten goals, nine, nine goals, eight in favour of the Swannies. Eight point margin. No, sorry, seven point margin. Got to get my maths right there as Papley goes inside 50. Can we have flyers? Maybe a Marty. Oh, McLean almost. Dropped another mark. Oh, beautiful. Corey Warner. Ah, wrong side of the post. That was his chance. Obviously, remember, Corey Warner kicked the goal last year on debut, so it wouldn't have been his first goal in AFL. I think it would have been his second. McGrath now out of the 50. Go, Melican. Good boy. Force it over the line. Sardis. Chance now, Corey Warner, centering ball, he can fly here, Joel, ball hits the deck, Laverde taps it out into space. Yeah, under enough pressure to be fair to hand pass it through. Nine point margin. Nick Martin now, nice low kick. Finds Heppel. No, hey, Phil, hopefully going well, mate. Watching TV and iPad. Oh, lovely stuff, mate. Apple now goes down the line. Yours, Lewis. Oh, Tommy. Good boy. Shorts go down in the process.
Tell me we can't now. Launch it in long. Don't really have the numbers here. Oh, my car's dropped that somehow. Now McGrath puts Heppel under the pump. Papley now got to get rid of it. Does well. Oh, Wicks. Wixie boy. Just had to compose himself there. But fumbled. And the car will lock it in with a Ford 50 stoppage. Minus seven contest possessions as well. But the pressure's starting to lift a bit. A clean tap. Warner a chance maybe. Got to pick up this grand ball. Papley now. Looks a bit fumbly some plays. J-Mac. Good hands to Warner on his wrong side. Stiff arm. Gets the hand pass out. Well done. Jordan now. Centering ball. Chance here maybe for... Oh, Braden Campbell. What happened? Oh, I wasn't playing a mark and he misses. A few points in a row here. Ten point margin. Oh, just not long enough. Martin now. A little risky kick. Good spoil there from Goulden. Ball hits the deck again. Come on, got to cash in. Papley, bang, instantly. Oh, could have been without the footy there, but Laverde did well. Good pressure applied. Fumble from Perkins. Oh, geez, that should have been a bit of a better tackle. Now Goulden. Almost applying the heat. And Apple, good kick there. Menzi could be out here. Over the top. The Hobbs could work. Come on, Tom. Come on, Ramps. Good boy. Field now, high ball, Spall came from the Liz, Spall hits the deck, who's there first, Grundy is, out to Haywood, out to McLean, got to get some smalls involved here, nice, Wixie, out board to Jordan, he can go for goal here, he wants to centre it up, nice, good footy. Well the lack of composure the last few minutes has been painful for us, so we just need a settler here. But better there, good movement. And no, just great vision there from Wicks. Just knew Jordan was there right away. And Papley can go back. Tommy Papley, can he extend our margin out to 16? Sure can, right down the pipe. Okay, much needed goal. Oof. Six minutes to play till three quarter time. Tw 11 goals, 12, 78, 9 goals, 8, 62. And Papley's off for a rest on the bench. What a game from Pap. So three goals, 20 touches, 10 marks. He's been brilliant. Yeah, there, the Papley emojis, of course, in the chat. Yeah, beauty. So three points in a row from us, and finally able to get him with a goal. Come on, let's win it out of the middle here. Warner now. Oh, got his head taken off there a bit. Nothing given. Merritt, center clearance, high ball on his non-preferred. Lloyd, can he get there? He won't be able to. Oh, bounce. Oh, you're kidding me. That was a throw. Menzi now a chance. Now on the full. Anyway, low kick there, nice. Isaac Heaney in midfield. Heaney now goes out across towards the wing. Works for Grundy. Grundy now, low kick. Campbell. Can to see how this guy goes this year. Brandon Campbell now. Now yeah, the full, unlucky. 
Dersma in board of Nick Martin, not 15, so I have to go by foot. Oh, well done there again. Is that J Mac again? No, they're all dispossessed. Oh, you're kidding. How's that not holding the ball? Essen now could be on the attack here. And pass. Jeez, what was that from Menzi? Casper the Ghost. Seventy-two marks to forty-nine our way, and the five minutes still three-quarter time. Setterfield just possessed there. Perkins, soccer forward. It was smothered. Oh, great pick up there from Setterfield, but the hand pass was poor. Great intercept from Florent. Now we can go. Heaney, low kicks a nice one. Hayden McLean, can we be out the back here? Hayden, steep kick could work here for Hayward. Beautiful. This has just been the game. This has been the difference. It's just been the difference. It's just our ability to get it out of congestion um, and get goals through transition. Thanks for subscribing, by Sydney, mate. Appreciate it. 70% kicking efficiency, too. We've been going much better by foot in this second half. Haywood now can extend the margin out to 22 if you can convert this kick. Will Haywood. Ah, no good. Side of the foot there. Goes for a point. McGrath now out of the 50. Stringer could fly. No, sorry, it's Peter Wright. McCartan did well to bring him to ground. Now Durham. Works one round the corner. Melican's got to go here. Good spoil, but Menzies there first. Well done from Lloyd. 3.23 to play. Draper did well. Perkins is possessed. Good pressure there from Errol. Jordan. Unable to get a clean possession. Set of field. Taking the tackle. Another stoppage here. Outside Essendon's forward 50. Jordan gets it first. He's dispossessed. Missed kick there from Caldwell. Melican, great attack on the football. Hand pass was poor. Mert, Martin, well done. Gresham now. Chance for String on the snap. Yeah, you just knew he was going to kick it. Jake Stringer makes us pay. With a few of our misses down the other end. 11 point margin. You could just see it coming. Run in from Stringer from the stoppage. 2.54 to play. Till three quarter time. Uh, how about that vision from Gresham, though? Great sets of hands. Finds Stringer. You know he's going to kick that snap. <clears throat> Melican did well, but it was just a poor hand pass. Just gives it straight to Martin. And there we go. Stringer goals. Their first in quite a while. Two fifty-four to play till three-quarter time. Eleven-point margin. Perkins, well done. Oh, did too much. Well done from Juzzy. His pressure's been insane tonight, McInerney. Oh, you are kidding! Dangerous tackle. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Ah, that's annoying. Set of field now. Can pump it in long for the Dons. Can they find an option in the air? Good spoil from McCartan. Gresham will get there first. Hind. And now Merritt. Nowhere to go, so we'll backtrack here to McGrath. Can he get a kick forward? He can, a high one. Towards the edge of 50. Good spoil from Melican. Campbell now in the corridor. He finds Juzzy. Now Matty Roberts. Now Chad. Heaney. Blakey. Oh, how about this running carry from the Swannies? Florent now. Corridor's on. Oh, jeez. Oh, Flo. You're kidding me, son. But we've got the numbers still. Jordan. Juzzy deserves a goal. He goes short. Nick Blakey. Go back, son. 
Bloody hell. Very lucky there, though, from Florent. Fumble there from Durham, but we had the numbers on the overlap and Juzzy. Having a good game, Jay Mack, and can Blakey convert a rare goal kicker now since he's shifted forward? Nick Blakey. Beautiful kick. There we go. Back out to 17 points. 113 to play till three-quarter time. Oh, take that. Blanky's first goal of the season. One goal, one for him. Jeez, Florence lucky there. Okay, back in the middle we go. 17 point margin. Heaney punches forward. We're holding free, I think, here against Robottom. Nick Martin now, kick across towards the wing. It will favour Xavier Dersma, the new recruit. Goes inside 50. McCartan did well in the air. And boundary thrown. 49 seconds to play. Four fifty stoppage here for the Dons. And Gordon able to get it out of the fifty. Nice kick. He'll stay in here. Go on, Logs. Soccer keeps it alive. Now Hados. Go on, son. Go, Hados. Hand pass to Paps. Breaks a tackle. Who's he got inside fifty? Takes a bounce. Doesn't know where to go. And it could work. Oh, almost Wicks. Ball hits the deck. Warner instantly taken in a tackle. Wicks the ground level. Able to pick up Merritt. Beautiful hands. How about that? That's clean. And the Bombers will get out through Heppel. Drop mark. Okay, quick. Roberts. I think we're running out of time. Nine seconds to play. Maybe one more chance. Chance for Goulden. High ball. Maybe McLean. Good boy. <laughs> On the siren. Massive. Oh, how about that from Goulden? Okay, just kick it, Dawson. Oh, that's huge. And McLean, chance to kick a second. Yeah, just don't play on McLean. Just don't play on. Good boy. We're heading to three-quarter time with the now a bit of a hefty margin. 23 points at three-quarter time. We'll take that. No, oh, come on. Let's just hold. Let's just hold. Let's just keep taking the game on. Uh, I'm watching on KO Jack, mate. Uh, depends where... If you, live in an, if you live in an AFL state, it's Channel 7. If you don't, it's on 7, mate. That's if you have free-to-air TV available. Massive third quarter, though. Able to run away with some great ball movement goals. That's just pretty much been the difference this game. So in the end, it was a... Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 goal 5 to 2 goal 3 quarter. Um, really big third term once again. Our third quarters this year have been pretty good. But yeah, we'll take that. 
23 at three quarter time. Have a look at some of the stats. Uh, Tom Papley's been fantastic, of course. Um, let's have a look. Here we are. Uh, 21 touches, three goals, one for him. Um, you know, he's just been really, really dangerous in the forward half. This has been Essen's issue, though, probably the lack of a matchup for a dangerous small, and Papley's been able to do it go well so far. Isaac Heaney, 25 touches, a goal, five marks, three tackles, seven clearances. He's just been doing it all. Will Setterfield, I think, has genuinely been Essen's best midfielder. Um, I think he's been great in and under, being able to win some hard ball. Six clearances to his name. Nick Martin with 26 and three marks. goulden has been great. Big goal from him. Yeah, take care, Hawthorne, mate. Have a great rest of your night. Um, two clearances, 26 touches. Errol Goulden, as I said. No, sorry, that was Nick Martin. Goulden has 18 and a goal. Zach Merritt with 24. Always a good player against us. Chad Warner has been quiet. He's got 17, two tackles, six marks. Grundy, 14 disposals. Uh, Mark and a tackle to his name. Hopefully Grundy can finish strong. Um, have a look at some intercept possessions. Six to McCartan. I've liked his game. Lloyd, better with six. Heppel, six. Roberts with five inside 50s, seven for Setterfield. And he's winning the contest possession count with 13, 12 with Heaney. Score involvements, Heaney's got 12, Papley nine, Goulden and Goulden eight and Warner seven. Um, and contestant marks two for McDonald. Okay, well, final term, final terms upon us. Oof, could still go down to the wire. We'll see. I'm going to go take another whiz. I mean... Been drinking a lot of water this game. Get my fluids in. It's always good when I stream. I always get to seem to get my fluids in well. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec uh, for the final turn. Right on back, everybody. So, three-quarter time, almost over. Final term was almost upon us. Um, just hit 16,200 subs, so appreciate that, lads. Uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oof, here we go. So, 23 points. Look, still don't know. You know, we can't get complacent, that's for sure. Hey, J-Dub, hopefully you're going well, mate. But come on, let's finish off strong here.
Well, final term. That'll be upon us. Yeah, amazing kid. Hopefully going well, mate. Hopefully we will, mate. Final quarter. We were in these situations a lot last year and end up losing the game, so we'll see. Anyway, underway for the fourth quarter. Okay, pushing the back, free to Warner. Short options on, goes to Sammy Weeks. Okay, got options here, Warner now. I think he could go for goal. No, he gives it there, he'll go for goal, son. Oh, beautiful, Grundy. Oh, just caught a hand pass though, nice. Haywood should go. Easy as you like. Good craft. Good goal. Already inside 30 seconds, we kick the first of the final turn. Bit unlucky there for Grundy. I thought he was able to pick up uh, pick up the mark, but no. Good hand pass, though. He was reactive. He was Johnny on the spot. Yeah, top 10. Glad to see Super Coach content. Oh, no worries, mate. Yeah, no, I'm wanting to start doing weekly reviews because, I'll be honest, I've always wanted to do it, so why not? Um... You know, mate, of course, there's a majority of people on the channel that might not give a crap with fancy and super coach, fair enough. But, you know, something I like doing. Want to do. I appreciate that, mate. Good to hear. Uh, beautiful stuff, though. Out of the middle. Gordon could have gone for home, but just look at that kick. Oh, Grundy almost. And Hayward had all the time in the world to snap around the corner and go. Huge stuff. 29 points now, the margin. Grundy's up and about. Yeah, terrible bounce around pie. I've had a few of those tonight. Well, 30 seconds in, already a goal in the final term as Draper gets out of the ruck. Hand pass, works for Perkins. Out for Nick Cox, good pressure from Roberts. Very well done. Warner now, good awareness. Juzzy. Kick over the top, gotta to go Grundy, good boy. Power, right? Look at that from Grundy, working hard. See, that could have been a mark to Campbell, though, because that was a sort of a similar one, but... Oh, well. Brody now goes in long. Could we find an option deep? Haywood almost goes to ground. Puckley now. Hand pass out into space. Jeez, have a look at this from Florence. Snap kick. Misses. Sneaks in for a point. 30-point margin it is now. Apple now out in the space. It's a good kick. Should find Durham. Nick Martin now getting plenty of the football from half back. Low kicks a nice one, Langford. Langford now corridor kicks on. Beautiful Durham marks. Options floating forward here for Essendon. Deep kick. Can Draper fly? Good sport from Tom. Goes straight into Warner's lap. Melican. Goulden. And a low kick on the wing. Can he find Wicks? Hits the deck. <laughs> Tries to keep it in. Oh, of course that's out. No, I'm joking. No, that was out. <laughs> Grundy gets front position. Ball hits the deck. Row bottom. Been quiet tonight, Rowie, in terms of the attack. Good, and good pressure applied. Umpire's ball. No, I never used an NES, mate. Probably a little bit past my time uh, since I was born in 03. I was more than in... I was big. A AFL on the Wii. I loved that game. Inside 50 year Langford unable to take it overhead. Another boundary throw in. No, I don't use fluoride toothpaste, top 10. The million dollar question has been answered for you, mate. <laughs> okay, forward 50 stoppage here for the Bombers. Grundy gets first possession. McCartan under this one. Got to get rid of it. Had to hand pass that to Melican. Merrick, great tackle. Had to get rid of that, Tommy. Good 
Good pressure from the skipper. And Merritt should go to get this back to 24 points. And goals. Still the downside with Tommy McCartan, must be said. Um, I think his, his, his kicking in sort of like his ball and hand can be pretty ordinary sometimes in his decision making on the attack. Well, one goal each in this final quarter. 23 at three-quarter time, and now 24 points to the margin. Well, can the Bombers start to get on top of it? Grundy hit out. Worked well for Heaney. Good pressure applied. Warner now. Row bottom. Oh, that's a poor hand pass. Draper now. Just go whack from 50. How about that for a kick? High ball. Tommy. Oh, couldn't spool it through. Yeah, well done. Now rushes it, rushes it through for a point. Jake Lloyd now will kick it in. And across now to a contest. Who can fly? And ball will hit the deck. Ben already throwing. <laughs> Draper hit out. String up. Good attack on the footy from him. Unable to dispose of it though. Rampy under it. Row bottom. Wax it out of there. Who's up? Maybe Logan. Brings it to ground. Good stuff from Laverde. Umpire's ball. And good tackle though from Hayward. That was great pressure. Alan Davy Jr., the sub, still yet to come on. Could he provide a spark if he is to come on? Another stoppage here in centre midfield. Grundy goes to ground. Falls over. Robot and great pressure. Slap forward from Roberts and now Juzzy out into space for Heaney. He's dispossessed. Jordan, good pick up. Back to Isaac on his left boot. Always a clean player up for Joel. Great strong mark against Mackay. McDonald's over the top here. Now too late. Martin staying to kick away. Will now go deep. Can McDonald fly? He can't. Just got pushed out there with absolute ease. Essen now on the attack. Zach Merritt. Who can he find? A deep kick. Tommy. Pushed out. No, oh, it's a free to Tommy. Good Andy and Simon. Hopefully you two are going well. Welcome to the stream. McCart now. Cuts the angles with a nice disguised kick to Blakey. Blakey now will go towards the next contests. Dropped mark there from Laverde. Now Wicks. Oh, fumble there from Warner. Just not ready. He's had a disappointing game. Row bottom gets the hands. Warner, maybe can he redeem himself? Out to Chad. Gives it to his brother. And now can Warner convert? He had time there and he usually kicks those. 24 points to the margin. Hind to Sardis. Sardis now back to McGrath. And now they just want to go out the outer side here. Heppel. Into Setterfield. He's having a good game. Setterfield now. Crowd across to the wing. He finds Xavier Dersma. 
And now inboard to to uh, McGrath. And he now goes down the line. Good looking kick for Goldie. Yeah, good mark. Beautiful kick it was. Goldstein peels off, plays on. Got to go here, Lewis. Good boy. Means there's 14 goals kicked, Bon. So a goal is six points. Um, and then, yeah, 14B is behind, so it's just one point. So 14 times six is 81. And then plus 15 behind, which is 15. 99. No, sorry, that's wrong. That's meant to be 84. As you can see, my maths is, is terrible. I usually, I usually have that. Sometimes my math is really, really bad, especially when I'm trying to focus on the game. <laughs> No, no, I'm not really the I'm not really the best at best at maths in general, anyway. Grundy now, it's the deck. Jordan gets a rush kick out of there. Merritt now, can he kick a goal? Oh, Zach Merritt, great kick. The skipper with two goals in the final term gets it back to 18 points. Could it be game on here? 12 goals, 9, 81, 14 goals, 15, 99. Much more fun in American football. Yeah, for, for sure, Bon Bon. Um, I mean, obviously a bit biased. I mean, I love American football, but, you know, AFL was pretty special. Oh, boy, so does 2023 come back to haunt us again? We're up by a comfortable margin and we let them back in it. Come on, boys, got to dig deep. That's great for Menzi though. He's able to push out Roberts with that tap a bit. And just goals off it. Beautiful kick. Draper subbed out. Alan Davion. on. Good pressure there from Gould and umpire's ball. Oh, here we go. Clearance for us. Another inside 50. Bobbling ball towards half forward. Peter Wright, can he be clean here? He can't. Lloyd under the pressure there. Very nice from Langford. On pause ball. Gresham, good hands. Socket out of there from McLean. Mark from Apple. Apple now inside 50. Who can fly? McLean gets the hand in and Robert's taken over the line. Peter Wright hit out. Florent wax it forward only as far as Perkins. Great pressure from Hayward. Stringer misses the soccer. Goulden just wax it out of there. He's got to make Corey Warner work here. Come on, Corey. Come on, Warner Jr. Good boy. Get the hand pass. Juzzy. Fumble. Can you keep it alive? You can't. That will do. Man, throw throwing. Gain some territory there. Tied bodies there, Blakey. And there's Grundy. And yeah, that's poor from McLean. Gives away the freak. 72% time and forward half for Essendon in, in this fourth quarter. Goldstein now towards half forward. Almost right. Drops the mark. Heaney. Got to be clean. Oh, high fend off. Isaac. Oh, dear. Just such a frustrating free kick to give away. Oh, bloody hell. That's a bit of a brain fade there from Isaac. Goes to the pockets to Peter Wright. Drops the mark. Well done there in defence from McCartan. Campbell now wants to whack it on the shoot. That's a great kick. Could work for Logan. Well done there, Ben McKay. Big one-on-one -on -one win there from Corey Warner. Really like that.
Oh, bang. Great pressure from McLean. Big, big tackle. Oof, that was crunching it there from Hayden McLean. Campbell, I can't be fumbling there. Now, whack forward. Oh, McCountain drops the mark. And pass. Oh, only as far as Gresham. Stringer. Good hands. Menzi Tup. Very nice Langford fumble. Oh, dear. Bloody hell. It's all happening. Gresham quick kick. Rushes through for a point. Oh, good defensive intent in the end. Bloody hell. Melican now. Juzzy. Alan Davies out on the ground. Oh, what a kick from Juzzy. Wicks almost gets the tackle inside 50. Oh, Gresham gets the mark. Oh, it's just going back and forth at the moment. 17 point margin. Can Gresham convert? What pressure there from Alan Davies. That's sensational. Sub to perfection. Tied bodies out there. Drawing the car says Petra. Flood, he could be. Well, Ken Gresham needs to kick this for the Dons. He's had a good game. 20 touches, two goals, one, nine contested possessions. Should go. And he does. Great kick. Oh, 11 point margin. Getting close now. 14 goals, 15, 99. 13 goals, 10, 88. Oh, boy. In for a close one. Said no one ever. Always oh, between these two sides. It's bloody close. Three in a row for Essendon. Much needed. 11 points. Really could be anyone's game now. Need to gain some control here out of the middle. So this looks like a repeat of last year. We're up by about 35 points and then we win by two. Come on. Hold on, boys. Grundy hit out. Warner just gets the kick away. Great tackle from Goulden. Nothing given. Row bottom. Had a bit of time there to pick up. Perkins. Rowie, tuck on the footy. Well done. Sock it out of there from Martin. Got to, got to be clean front. He is now Brody Grundy. Oh, look at him. Bit of an Olay. Out across. Oh, great vision. Finds J-Mac. 9.40 to play. Swans holding on by 11 points. Oh, kick. Oh, Goulden. Yes. What a kick from J-Mac. Oh, he's been sensational tonight, Justin McInerney. Take a bow, that's some sort of a kick. All right, we've got to convert here to just get a bit of a breather. To stem the flow of three goals in a row for Essendon. Can Goulden convert? To hit the ton. Harold Goulden. Oh, of course, he's a superstar. Bloody oath, we'll take that. 17 points it is now. 8.49 to play. Oh, okay. Much needed. Gordon with his second. Jeez, what's that celebration? Don't know what that's meant to be. Probably some Liverpool bloody crap because he goes for Liverpool. Bloody hell. Smooth operator indeed, Joyce. All right, much needed snag. After three in a row from Essendon, the Swans respond through Errol Goulden. There's Kevin Sheedy. 
17 points it is. Merritt. Oh, phew. Look like an incorrect disposal there from that angle. Warner now. Out to Grundy. J-Mac. He's been huge in this second half. Low kick. J-Mac. He's been amazing. Beautiful stuff. Come on, Ados. Oh, we take another goal here, I think, from the center circle. Oh, that's center square, I should say. Center circles, soccer. <laughs> oh, there is a center circle, you know what I mean, in the AFL field. Center square. Hayden McLean, can he extend our margin directly in front? No, no, I can't. Well, that would have been nice, but it's an 18 point margin now, so directly three goals. 7.52 to play. McGrath now, deep kick. Rowbottom looks to be under this one. Oh, yeah. Push there. Easy. Rowie's free. Rowbottom inside 50. Who are the Flyers? Oh, McGrath drops the mark. Gets it out to Mackay. And now Laverde. Ground hand pass for Xavier Dersma. Oh, poor kick. Easy stuff for Matty Roberts. Yes, yes indeed. He is impressive. And he flattens out a kick to Will Hayward. Oh, that's just a great defensive act there from Ash, Mag uh, Ash McGrath. Andy McGrath. <laughs> Bloody hell. And then points, 7.15 to play. Almost, Matty Roberts. That would have been a lovely kick. Papley, oh, holding. Yep, thank you. Go on, Tops. Tops, paps. Not happy, Nick Hine, bloody hell. He's lost the feathers. Look at that hairline. Come on, paps, for four goals, that would be something. Can Papley goal here for four goals? Oh, he sure can, Tommy Papley. He's putting on a clinic tonight. Give it, give it, give it to Tommy Papley. Pass him the pill and watch him score all the goals. Give it, give it, give it to Tommy Papley. Someone put him out. He's on fucking fire. What a, what a player. Bloody oath. Oh, have a look at that. 23 touches, four goals, one. Much needed snug there. And now we've extended the margin out to 24 points. At 6.42 to play. Still a bit of time for Essendon to definitely get back in, but we'll see. Not a bad chant. Thoughts on the chant, everybody? I mean, there's probably people that already heard it. Um, but if there's any new viewers that... I've heard that chant, thoughts. It's not a bad one. Bloody hell. I embarrass myself sometimes. Back in the middle we go. I just hold it out. And Grunny gives away high free. <sighs> Merritt now out across. Nick Hine. Low kick. Almost Langford. Roberts now. Oh, good pressure there from Owen Davy again. Gresham, can he do something? Backtracks, slap from string, was clean, Merritt. Oh, good vision. Kyle Langford. Well, he can snap around the corner here. He, oh, oh, wanted to play on. Langford now plays on. Oof, just too shallow. 23-point margin, 6-0-1 to play. Roberts goes short. Oh, great Mark McLean.
Grundy. I'll well, take that bit of territory. Favourite player, Puppers. Yeah, fair enough, said mate. Always a fan favourite. Uh, but also hated, as Petra says. Do not like one bit. Yeah, fair enough. He's a pest. Good attack on the footy there, Grundy. Gets it out, Heaney. Into space for Jordan. Back and board to Isaac. Breaks the tackle. Hand pass over the top to Goulden. Back to Heaney. How about this? Handball chain here. Chad now. Centering ball is on. He goes for Juzzy. He deserves this mark. Off. Almost with the one hand. Boy, it's the deck. Alan Davies sockers it into space. Who can get here first? Only as far as Roberts. Takes his time. And it's had a beautiful kick. Jake Lloyd. Roberts, I'll tell you what, coming of age game. Really liking him tonight. Jakey Lloyd now. Can he put an exclamation point on this? Plays on, rare goal kicker. And pulls it across the face instantly. Back at the four goals. 4.22 to play. Nick Martin to kick it in. Okay, boss enough for the goal. Well, mate. Root to my team. Oh, yeah, mate. Oh, and three. Not a good start for them. But, you know, the most important thing, mate, you're still defending and you're still having your graphs. What, 17 teams don't. The Premiership. But yeah, of course, you'd, you'd be worried, though, with how you're playing this year. Could be 0-4 against uh, the Lions on Thursday. Oh, no, I don't even... Is, is it next Thursday? I don't know. Harry Cunningham still on the bench. Ah, bloody hell. And out for us. Set of field. McGrath goes by foot. Langford, good body work there. McCartan's overcommitted here. Over the top for Stringer. And goals. Okay, well, 3.48 to play. Back to 18 points. This Thursday coming east to Thursday. Okay, yeah, east to Thursday. There you go, then. <clears throat> well, you never know. If I could win it out of the middle here. Got to see this through. Yeah, he overcommitted there, Tommy. But yeah, Lang Langford did really well there. And on 3.46 to play. This could still be a bit of time. Another shite bounce to the umpire. Bloody hell. Ugh. Goldstein hit out. Good soccer there from Heaney. Gets it forward. Hayward did well one-on-one. -on -one. Heppel did better, possibly. Holds it up. Tups galore. Falls in Heaney's lap. Oh, hand pass wasn't great to Chad. Good attack on the footy, though, from Warner. Ball hits the deck. Martin under this one. Soccer's hit into space, but Chad's there first. Can pick up. Oh, Chad. Oh, ho, ho, Chaddy Warner. There you go. Kept his feet. That's always the important thing in football, and that should be the game. Back to four goals. Oh, bloody hell. This has been up and down tonight a wee bit. Let's just get this game done. Big girl stuff from Chaddy. Good last quarter he's had, Warner. Oh, cheers, Boston. I appreciate the kind words. 
Now in the middle again, Grundy hit out. Heaney it's just attacks the footy well, gets the tackle, strong stuff, but somehow Setterfield's able to get that out. Now Perkins, Martin, needs to find an option here by footy, goes to one-on-one. -on -one. McDonald in defence, good stuff from Durham there, McGrath. Stringer now, plays on, centering ball, yours Florent, good boy. Miss watching on ESPN back in the day says BOTO. Shimming that's in America, mate. Is it not on ESPN anymore in the States? Florent now out across the J, mate. So, job done. 24 points the margin, yeah. I mean, Essendon didn't always come to play. Knew, knew this would be this, the case. Um, I mean, credit to us, though. Ball movement, changed the game. Um... I thought we held it. We, we got on top of the midfield, though, that third quarter. I think we really stuck to the task. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, just really clean stuff in the fourth half again. All right, deep ball towards half forward. Oh, clean from Paps there. Jordan keeps it in. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, James Jordan for his first as a swan. What a goal. Get around him. Ah, oh, great kick. How about that? What a kick. Flat kick. Trickles home. Wow. Okay, out of 30 points now. Oh, sensational. What a goal. Get around him. Oh, that's a great moment. Moment of the match. 34,000 in the SCG. Not a bad turnout. High score of 2024. Well, there you go. Oh, good win tonight. Off to, off to 3 0. We'll take that. McLean clearance. Drop mark there from Heppel. He's dispossessed. Could be holding the ball. He just incorrect disposal, but didn't have pride to be fair. High and dispossessed. Oh, look at this. Now, chance attacking. Snap kick. Oh, bloody hell. I'll tell you what. The junk. The junk is now starting to flow through the stadium. Oh, yeah. Now up to 36 points. This will help the percentage. For the long run. No wait. And take that. Chad Warner, I mean, what a fourth quarter for the ages. He's kicked two goals in the last term. So many contributors tonight, like Papley, Gordon, Heaney, Warner, Grundy. Roberts has been up there. Bloody hell, now we're really starting to sink our teeth into this game. Well, Fred is set of field now, Merritt. Low kick. The stringer drops the mark. Out to Jordan. Now out to Chad. Beautiful stuff. I wonder how about that breaking tackle of these. Out to Roberts. And now out to Jake Lloyd. Just once to hold it down. Well, how about this? Hasn't felt like a 36 point margin given this game. It was pretty tight throughout the game, but uh, no, credit to the boys. And yeah, that's a mark to Martin. Um, yeah, no, I think now from what we've been able to see, oh, fuck off, um, 50 metres, swivel on it. Bullshit. Fucking weak free. I tell you what, they don't, I bet you they don't call those throughout the game. It's just a fucking, right at the end. Now, Hobbs now, low kick, Langford could fly, hits the deck. 
Langford maybe for a bit of length junk round the corner. No, oh, don't tell me. No oh, bloody hell, stayed in. Gresham now. Centering ball for Stringer. Okay, well, there we go. Job done, though. Jeez, this has been going for a while. 35-minute final term. Um, yeah, massive score, though. That's the that's the big thing. Um, so many contributors in the forward half. Midfield lifted. Um, and it, it's always a tough task against the Dons. So, Stringer for a bit of junk at the end. Starting off 3 0 8. It's promising stuff. Can string a goal? He can. There we go. So 19 goals, 17, 131. 15 goals, 11, 101. 30 point margin in the end. Good win. Yeah, KG a fair throw at it, but no, credit to the Lions for sticking tough, sticking fat. Um, yeah, midfield were able to do much better in the third quarter, able to win clearance more. Ball movement again was the difference. Um, let's have a look at the team stats. A lot of contributors tonight for sure. Plus three inside 50 is our way. Minus 10 clearances in the end. Contest possessions one plus one for Essendon. So yeah, I, I still think the midfield and the clearance work will have to be looked at for a full quarter performance because it just isn't sustainable. But wow, our ball movement was flashy tonight. Um, it broke open. We've got a lot of goals from turnover and from de defensive 50. Um, yeah, happy tonight. We got the win. That's what matters. Play stats now. Have a look. 32 for Zach Merrick. Two goals in the final term. Nick Martin was good with 32 touches. Uh, Heaney with 32 and a goal. So he, he was brilliant as well. Um, just his overall maneuverment. Oh, lateral lateral movement in the in the contest was very good once again. He, he had game on clearances alongside centerfield with eight. Um, nine tackles again from Roy Bonham was quite tonight, but just with 10 touches. Um, that's something he's got to prove with this game. Haywood with three goals, Gordon with two, Jordan with one at the end. Um, but yeah, there you go. Score involvements 14 for Chad Warner, got the junk in the end. Tom Butler with 13 and Heaney with 13 as well. Intercept possessions, eight for Roberts. Great game tonight. Uh, eight for McCartan, eight for Merritts. Oh, cheers for the donation, Joyce. Really appreciate it. And yeah, cheers for the support in the stream tonight, lads. Uh, contest possession, 17 for Will Setterfield. Well done. Heaney with 14. Inside 50, Setterfield with 7. Gordon with 6. But yeah, no, ran out the game well. I think that's an important thing. Um, you know, Aston will come back late with a few opportunities, but um, we're able to get on top when the moments mattered um, throughout stages of the game, especially in the second half. Ball movement was, again, fantastic. Um, yeah, we struggled a little bit defensively, probably compared to the other games. Like, we did give up over 100 points, so there you go. Um, but as I say, you know, Essendon, I do rate this year, and they've got dangerous targets in the forward half. So, yeah, and there you go. 36 shots a goal to 26-2. So we could have honestly kicked a bit more accurate. 19 goals, 17. Um, but yeah, big score, 131 points. But yeah, content tonight. Got the job done. Um... Yeah, still, still stuff to work on, though. Like, I think the midfield... Look, we still don't have Parker, Mills, and Adams, so it's hard to criticise that area. Um, but, yeah, just beat around the footy and stoppage quite a bit did hurt us. But, I mean, credit to our ball movement. It was the difference, and midfield got on top in those moments in the second half. So, that's it, fellas. Swanning straight oh, hey? Bloody get around it. Top of the ladder for Saturday night. Lovely stuff. We'll take it. 30-point margin. That's, you know, on paper a convincing win. 30 points. So we'll take it. Cheers for tuning in, lads. Once again, Joyce, thanks very much for the, do for the donation. Um, and, you know, let let's have a look at the fixtures for next week. What streams will I be doing? Round three. So, um, yeah, it's Easter weekend next week. So Thursday we have Brisbane and Collingwood. Um, yeah, so Brisbane, Collingwood... Yeah, so, yeah, Brisbane Collingwood Thursday. Friday games, North Carlton there. Yeah. Don't know if I'll stream that. Freo, Adelaide, don't know either. Could go, yeah, go Port and Melbourne. That will be a good game. So I'll do that for the second stream. And yeah, third stream, obviously, Richmond, Sydney on your Sunday. So, fellas, thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate the support. Got it done in the end. Oh, yeah, my best on ground. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'll go Haney. I'll probably go him. I think he's more consistent throughout the four quarters. Um, 
I think Merritt will pull out a vote. He was fantastic. He'll, I'll put him for one. And then for two, probably Chad Warner. Um, oh, no, I'll go Goulden. Goulden for two and then one vote for Merritt. Cheers, tune in, lads. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, any Essendon fans in the chat, unlucky tonight. I thought, considering Essendon do have a lot of outs, their effort was great tonight, so I think you'd be proud. Um, but, I mean, to be honest, this is what I said in the tipping video. I felt our ball movement would outclass Essendon. That's what happened in the end. Cheers, tune in, fellas. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.